And now the end is here, and so I faced that final curtain. My friend, I'll make it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full, I've traveled each and every highway, and more, much more than this, I did it by way. Regrets, oh, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do when I ran out of pizza and went to Domino's and careful each step along the byway and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Damn, here we go. <sighs> what are you talking about? We're on the air? This is Ron? Absolutely. Get ready for the funniest damn prank call show there is. That's right, bitches. It's the Macron Show at macronshow.com. And if you don't like this, go and f*** yourself. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who you are? Who calling? No, oh, give me a break. What are you calling about? Who are you anyway? What the hell is this? Who is this? Aren't you having fun? And now, your host, Macron. 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 Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. How are y'all doing? Is my music working? Why is this shit music on in the background? What the fuck is this crap? Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Let's try and get something a bit more funky in here. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, everyone? Welcome to the Macron Show. Welcome to Mondays with Macron on the shit. It's the 27th of November already. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, how are y'all doing? It's been a while. Actually, it's only been a couple of weeks. You'll be okay. A couple of weeks since the big telecourt debacle. Let's see who's in Discord then. Who showed up on time? Buckfast, Chumley, Dale, Dr. Charles, Hazel, and Ray. Everyone else is dead to me. Dead to me. I'm just kidding. Bags of dicks for everyone. Bags of dicks for all of them, Dale. That's right. How are y'all doing? How have you been without me? Field Mouse wants to know what my shirt says. Uh, Dale gave me this shirt, and it says, Hey, what the fuck is going on here? Okay? And it's got a picture of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on it. It's not offensive. I love it. Because it's religious. <laughs> it's religious themed, okay? But yes, it says, What the fuck is going on in here? Okay? I thought it was apt for the show tonight. Dylan wants to know where I've been. Where have I been? Ragman's doing a tip already. There we go. Says Fatty Bum Bum. Where have I been? Where haven't I been, Dylan? Where haven't I been? Canada, Florida, who knows where else? Who else? Wow, what a great meetup we had. Dale, do you remember that meetup? Seems oh, like so God. long it's ago off now. The chain. Off the chain. Enough. Off the chain. Right. I've, I've been that wasted since I was fucking 17. Unbelievable. Unbelievable times. Go look on the social media for the pictures of the meetup. You'll, uh, you'll like it. Down South's here now. Down South says he... Oh, Down South has no internet, but he is here in spirit. Okay, no bag of dicks for Down South. Thanks, Hazel. Bancho beer. Look at this. Japanese. Jap Japanese bancho beer. I didn't know the Japanese could make beer. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we'll see. We'll see in a minute. We'll see. We'll see if it's better than this Stella I was already drinking. How are we all doing? Ragman, thank you for the tip. Macronshow.com forward slash tip if you want to donate tonight. We had a great meetup. We did. That was all right. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> it was all right. Skip my says, does anyone else smell weed in here? Uh, probably. Yeah, no. I don't know. Dale, did I even tell you this story? Do you, know, do you remember when I got an Uber back from your hotel, Dale? Dude left me. Right. A, dude left me a bad review because I smelled like weed. 
<laughs> he actually oh, put it. Right. Yeah, he actually, loud. he put it in my fucking Uber review. Like, I guess I wasn't talking very much. I was kind of slumped in in the back of the taxi in a daze. And yeah, I got out of the taxi. I got out of the Uber, and I got an email, and it was like, "Hey, you might want to work on improving your review score." And I was like, "What? My review score is perfect." And then I looked, and this motherfucker like just driven me home for thirty minutes. And then gave me a bad review for smelling like weed. Unbelievable. What a dickhead. But it's all right, because I'm going to leave. Uh, someone commented in the bar that we were kind of loud when we walked back in once. There was a few comments about us in that bar, yeah. Um, I'm surprised I was even welcome back in there, but uh, no, I was. We weren't loud. That's crazy talk. <laughs> we, don't mean, we don't mean loud as in volume. We mean loud in other ways. Oh, well, mm -hmm. that, yeah, you were. Apparently me and Dale were stinking the whole place out with the weed. Yeah, you were. Oh well, tough luck. At least look. the horse porn was muted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the horse porn didn't have any. Oh jeez, that was good it was times. A good time. Yeah, we did. We did put horse porn on in a bar. After two hours of the Macron show, it was pretty epic. I'll maybe do. What I might have to do is like a little little photo gallery of the whole event and put it on socials for people that haven't been keeping up, and for people that for some reason aren't still down in the Discord yet, which is speaking of. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Hazel. Okay, get in the Discord. Um, next. Hi, next what's Tuesday. going on? Like, I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> I know who that is. I remember her. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help me, Hazel. <laughs> All right, come on, make, Hazel, make the important announcement so I don't fuck Let's it up. I can get through it without being mocked. Um, so next Tuesday, we're doing a supporter appreciation show in Discord, which is a free show for everybody. Who, Your uh, ass. Whether, whether you're a member or not. Um, and so uh, I don't know if some people may not know this, and we'll repeat it again later, but Discord is free for everyone. You don't have to be a paid subscriber. It doesn't cost you a penny. And it's a really amazing community of people who love the show and are just generally really cool people. You can get in there, have conversations, get some really cool stuff uh, happening on the daily, and uh, just join us in there. Again, there, it, it's free. Um, paid memberships in there by next Tuesday, you're going to get a taste of, um, not even a taste, um, supporting the Macron show. You're going to get a taste of your own medicine is for blood. Out for blood. Why else do I have to announce? You said there was more announcements, right? Did I forget something? Uh, just Wednesday is a VIP supporter show. Friday is a premium supporter show. And then um, one day this week to be announced is the God level. And God love the oh, shows yeah. that get recorded so that we, oh yeah, so that we uh, that we can um, be on the right side of the law allegedly. But they are some pretty amazing shows. And again, everything has a one hundred percent money back guarantee. If you're not happy, you just send a note, and before as soon as you hit enter, within three seconds, your money will be returned to you, no questions asked. And we're just grateful that you would give it a try. But we hope you'll love it. But again, if you don't, that's cool. Just refund it. You do also have the option to get a refund in cash, which Ronnie will bring to your house with some guys in the middle of the night. It's true. So, and, you, true. and you don't even have to give him your address because he already has it. So that's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. And then there's also the third option where we give you the money back and then we give Jeff your phone number. That's the third option. Okay. Or we can donate your money to the uh, re-elect Joe Biden campaign. Or the Trump campaign, depending on which one you don't want to support. Yeah, wow, big announcements. It's also the uh, 333rd day of Yes Vember right now. And Cyber, Cyber Monday. Is it Cyber Monday? Oh, yeah, that's right. Cyber Monday. Um, I think you can get a big discount on my Cameo today because it's Cyber Monday. Hold on, let me check on that. Let me just go to cameo.com forward slash Macron show. Show you how and easy that is. Are we offering one percent discounts on monthly memberships today only? One percent. Yeah, one percent Cyber Monday Macron show. It's a bit. It's sh a bit I shit. Yeah, I. I I'll, there's no discount. It's a one percent uh, cash back deal, is what it is. So you get one percent of your cash back, but again, Ronnie has to bring it to your house, and you have to pay the airfare. So. Um, 
yeah, today, today only Cyber Monday, 20% off all my cameos. So why not go to cameo.com forward slash Macron show and get a cameo as well? I forgot about that. I have my own Cyber Monday deal. How about that? And it's, it's early, but it is an amazing Christmas present if you either know a fan of the show or want him to do something for someone who who you know if you're a fan of the show it's really good and 20 percent off is pretty generous 20 percent off think about that think about yeah chris i can do i'll do some awesome christmas messages for you guys like really offensive ones get why not get your grandmother like a really offensive macron show.com uh christmas message on cameo what a great gift that would be Super, super rude ones when you're opening the presents with the kids are always a good choice. Yeah, like really vile, offensive ones. That'd be great. All right, uh, let's see here now. Ah, I've got some voicemails to check. Let's see who's on the voicemail today. Who this? Is it going to play? Hello? Hello, my console. Hello. This is Vladimir Bluskin again. Oh, here we go. I have another rap for you. I hope you enjoy. Hmm. Albania and Alexa. Alexa. Resume. Uh, uh, I have grown so. Yes. My grown so. The place is so great. Cause it's day of the master. This is a wild thing from all scabs to hilarious stuff. Then the king of pranks, no one comes from on Chocolate, the master might be hyped up fast with tricks up his sleeve. Come and dance, time. dance on the camera, come on. Do it. Watch him rise to the top, first class. Every episode on uh, two bank on phone. From unsuspecting victims, laughter his clothes. Top. Oh, shit, I started. Alexa, stop. Schizophrenia, <laughs> <laughs> Alzheimer's, uh, blueprint disease, febreze in my anus. What? My dream watch is Rolex. They date 36 millimeter with, uh, with the, 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 the white Roman numeral dial. Um, okay. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Clearly. But I'm watching my console, though. Okay, good. Well, that's all right. Thanks, Vladimir. Oh, no, he's not going to wrap it. Okay, bye, Vladimir. Thank you. I don't know. Uh, what the hell was all about that? No, it's not. No, yeah, you're buffering. It says right here, zero drop frames. So turn down the bit rate. Uh, yes, bug fast. I got incoming calls turned on. Can somebody reliable confirm that YouTube isn't buffering for me? That'd be that'd be super. I don't think it is because it would tell me. Who's this? This sound. This looks like Tommy Wright's number. I wonder what he's got to say. Hey Jeff, <gasps> you know who this is? It's Tommy Wright. Hey Jeff, for a rink it up, old fossil like yourself. You stupid motherfucker. You got a big <laughs> mouth on you, Jeff. But since it's illegal for me to pull your dentures out and stuff them on the ground like I really want to, I understand that you are into games, and I understand that you're into Minecraft. So, Jeff, if you got any guts, you log on to your desktop to computer. Wait, hold on a second. We got a call coming in already. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you interrupting Tommy Wright's voicemail? Hello? 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 Oh, hey. Yeah, who did? <clears throat> who is this? What do you want? <clears throat> yeah, uh, you need an estimate for the wood spin? Not from a fucking dizzy prick like you. Jesus Christ, been on the call 15 seconds. 25 seconds, you still haven't even been able to speak properly yet. Gone, fuck off. Useless. Do you know anyone better, like better than you? Do you know anyone that's better than you, like smarter, more capable? If you could get them to call me, that'd be great. Okay. What? what? I don't know. What? What don't what you know? What type of service do you need it? 
<laughs> Fucking useless. Go away. Fuck off. Do you understand that? Fuck off. Why, why did you say that? Fuck off. All right, you're pissing me off. That's why. Who do you think you're talking to anyway? Dick. Yeah. Dickhead. I get Wanker. <clears throat> I get Wanker. Information for engine, engine. Bonehead. Loser. Twat. <clears throat> Bender. Are you okay? What do you mean, am I okay? Don't fucking start some shit, buddy. I'll put my security guard on here. I'll fuck you up. What do you mean, am I okay? Yeah, are you okay? What do you mean, am I okay? Main I Street know, Psychiatric Hospital, may I help you? Hello? Hello, this is the Main Street Psychiatric Hospital. Which patient were you trying to call? I keep hearing voices. <laughs> How may I assist? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, which patient were you trying to reach? Who's talking? I don't know what happened. This is the Main Street Psychiatric Hospital, sir. You called us. I assume you were trying to reach one of our patients? No, sorry. I don't were you know looking what happened. for someone in the Macron room? The Macron psychotic room? This guy's so thirsty for business, can you tell? You thirsty motherfucker, aren't you? I've told you to fuck off like six <laughs> six times. You're still... He's still there. He's still there. I'm fucking bored of this guy. Go on, fuck off. Fuck off. Don't call here again. Fucking hell. Interrupting Tommy Wright's message. All right, now multiple people are saying YouTube's buffering. I mean, it's not me. It's, it's like I'm looking at it right now. Look, there I am. There I am on my own phone and it's working. See? See? You people. Just watch it, watch it like this on my webcam. <laughs> Look. There I am. It's working fine here. Dale says it's good there. Um, it may be a YouTube problem. Yeah, just turn the, turn the quality down. Go to the quality setting, the little gear icon, and turn it down. But uh, Oh, fucking hell. What? Uh, yes? Yes? Hello, is this Jeff? Yes, what do you want? Fucking goof. Uh, hi, this is Lucia calling from Porch on a recorded line. All right. I'm calling you about a Penis. door installation and electrical fixtures. Yeah, that's right. I need an electrical door. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically here at Porch Jeff, we help you save time Porch by Jeff. finding local professionals for you, okay? Uh, all right. And you can get different estimates at no obligation. Uh, I only need one estimate, really. I just need the lowest estimate. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't need a bunch of different estimates. Okay, well, we can see what we have, and we can connect you with uh, just one. Oh, I'm bored of you. Bye. She was fucking retarded. I can't even listen to that shit. Um, let me see if there's any reported problems with YouTube right now for you guys. I gotta do everything around here, don't I? Mm, not really. Not really. Some people are saying it's perfectly fine, and some people are not happy at all about it. And I don't know. It's not coming from my end. Like... Right here, we're, buff we're, we're streaming at 8,250 kilobits per second, solid, no zero dropped frames. Hazel's got it on her phone and it's working fine. You guys are just joshing with me, aren't you? You just It's just a ruse. Uh, yeah, maybe you're all having a, a stroke, like a group stroke. See, there's some, some people are saying it's working perfectly fine. It's got to be YouTube, it's not me. It's definitely not me. Um... Sorry for interrupting your voicemail, Tommy Wright. Let me skip back a bit. Let's let's hear Tommy Wright's whole message again. And if anyone calls, I'm going to fuck them off. Sorry, Tommy. Here we go. Hey, Jeff. Jeff. You know who this is. It's Tommy Wright. Hey, Jeff, for a wrinkled up old fossil like yourself, you stupid motherfucker, you got a big mouth on you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. But since it's illegal for me to pull your dentures out and stuff them on the ground like I really want to, I understand that you are into games, and I understand that you're into Minecraft. So, Jeff, if you got any guts, you log on to your desktop to computer, and let's play some Minecraft tonight, Jeff, where I could take everything you said, and uh, I can actually do something about it playing Minecraft. So are you repeatedly calling me the N-word, Jeff? Well, guess what I'm going to do on Minecraft. I'm going to take you out of that wheelchair and I'm going to run you over 
with a car on Minecraft repeatedly. Yes. <laughs> Those dentures that you have in your mouth, I'm going to put them in a blender and turn it on until it turns to dust, and then I'm going to spray your dentures all over the yard playing Minecraft, Jeff. Your colostomy <laughs> bag, I'm going to make sure that it continues to leak on Minecraft. Jeff, don't think I forgot about my money in real life. Remember what I said, today's the deadline, motherfucker. You got till 7 o'clock to cough up my money before I get this plane ticket booked and come pay you a visit. Piece of shit. Thanks for that, Tommy Wright. Just to clarify, everybody, he means in Minecraft. Did you all catch that? He's going to do those things in Minecraft, okay? So don't worry. Who's this? Who are you? Someone Hello, let- everybody watching the Macron Show. This is Chef Johnson here, and I'm, I'm just calling in. I'm Ragman's cousin. I'm just cooking here. I'm cooking myself a pie, you know. I... You know, we just got back from the gym. We're really, we're really pumped up. We're still hungry. So, hang on, let me just crank up the heat real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was funny. Oh my God, who's this? Ah, uh, yes, sir. It so feels good to be on this side of the dirt, sir, rather than the other side, sir. Yes, yes, let's turn that down a little bit. I'm trying to get in contact with a Ron Blackman or a Tommy Wright, whichever you find, fine gentlemen. Can return Reverend Trembles from the Tremble and Sons Funeral Home. I got a couple of questions about a uh, a service that Tommy Wright has paid for for a uh, family member named Jeff O'Neill. Uh, my condolences offered to you at this time. Uh, yes, Tommy Wright has paid for this super basic package. And uh, that package consists of Jeff being cremated. And uh, <laughs> per our policy, Tommy has stated that Jeff wears a colostomy bag that leaks. And uh, we can't burn plastic in our cremation ovens. So uh, we wanted to make sure that it's okay to take that piece of bag off of them before we place them in the cooker. If you can give me a call back <laughs> at this number on your call ID, we can get that straightened out and get this thing uh, scheduled. I bid you fine gentlemen a beautiful, beautiful day. Yes, science. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord indeed, everybody. And I'm sure, again, I'm sure he, when he says that Jeff's going to be burned, I'm sure he means in Minecraft. Is that what you meant, sir? Yes. All right, there we go. Confirmed. Thank you. Apparently everything's working now. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thing. Oh, no, bloody hell. Oh, he's dead. Oh, his body parts are all over the fucking kitchen. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, dead people fuck in the Jesus. streets. Oh, fucking cars crashing and fucking buildings collapsing. Oh, Cousin Johnson, why did you have to cook the pie? Oh, fucking hell. Why did you Why did you cook? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Mary, Mother, Joseph. Oh, the fucking humanity. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, fuck. Can have. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is the worst day of my life. Anyway, please donate to the show, otherwise I'll beat you to death with my big, scary fist. In Minecraft. Hey. In Minecraft. <laughs> Thank you. That's definitely Ragman. I recognize Ragman. Pussy Jenkins wants some pussy. Okay, that's great. Right, that's enough for the fucking voicemails. Jesus Christ. Enough. Enough for that. Whew. All right. Thank goodness. What keeps changing my input volume in here as well? God damn you, Windows. Oh, let's, let's get the safety band showed in here for the disclaimer before I do any calls. Thank before you. we jump in, a note on our content. The Macron Show is created for adult audiences only. We advise listener and reader discretion for graphic depictions of sex, graphic situations, and some downright filthy language. If you or anyone listening are triggered by this, please do not listen to the show. The content on this show is only and only for entertainment purpose and does not express the views of the show host, co-host and management of the Macron show. 
All calls and information obtained herein are made for parody purposes and are not intended to be used for anything but comic purposes. You got that right, right? Got that right, right. We have another we have another clip from a bancho that Hazel sent me earlier that I need to play. What's that? We are sorry. The caller you're calling has fucked up phone or shitty internet. <laughs> Please never call here again. <laughs> I should make that the voicemail. I should make that the voicemail greeting when you call up to leave a voicemail. Just this. We are sorry. The caller you're calling has fucked. The what? Wait, say again. Okay, we got another one. I have a better one that makes. I'll send it to you. Is Safety Bancho trying to get paid even more? Is that why he's leaving all these messages? He's trying to get you even more money out of us by doing all this work. All right, fine. Um. I noticed Munson is in here, and that's perfect because Munson, I've got a little job for you. Have you got your? Is your audio ready this week? Are you are you fanning your balls in the shower or something, or are you are you ready to go? Oh shit! Amazing work, Tommy Wright. Munson, Munson, Munson. Oh, look at this prick. We have a new target for you. I'm going to make him the new Jeff because this guy's amazing. I've got to tell you the story, but I kind of need Munson to start it off. While we wait to see if he shows up, uh, this person's on hold to speak to CVS Pharmacy. Um, I've been here, by the way. Oh, there you are. Okay. Munson, you're going to fucking love this guy. I found you a real coconut, right? So I was on Facebook earlier just looking around for weirdos because, you know, that's the thing that I do. And uh, somebody posted a meme of, I don't know if you've seen this before, it's like a joke, right? It's got like a bunch of camera equipment. It's got like a bunch of lenses and a tripod and they're laid out to look like a machine gun. Do you know what I mean? And then it says, why would any normal citizen need this, right? And it's to see how many people don't realize it's just camera equipment, okay? And anyway, this one fucking dickhead responded straight away and he put, uh, so that we can destroy terrorist organizations like Antifa and Black Lives Matter. Right? <laughs> and, then, and then he just got fucking roasted in the comments for not realizing it was just camera equipment. Oh, we have another message from Safety Banchoed. Oh, that's even more money gone. We are sorry. The caller you're calling has fucked up phone or shitty internet. Please never call here again. It's basically the same, but with a beep at the start. You're not getting paid double for that. Safety banchoed. Anyway, yeah. Um, in fact, I'll post in the show chat for you, uh, just for you, Munson. Um, this guy, this guy's a real prize. I'm telling you, this this guy is going to be comedy gold. Um, so let me show you the original comment that got me going. Um, here it yeah, is. I see it right now. There it is. It was that one there. And then we've been making pictures of him all day. <laughs> we, put a make, we put a Make America Gay Again hat on him. Yeah, we've been, we've been doing all kinds of shit with his, with his picture. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, this guy's comment was to destroy terrorist organizations like Antifa and Black Lives Matter. And he just got roasted. Dude got like 200 comments in an hour just fucking roasting him for being so dumb. And so I had a nosy on his profile, right? All his social media posts are about, like, cheap knives that he thinks look really cool. Like, he keeps taking pictures of knives that he's seen and posting them to social media. Like, that kind of loser. So anyway, we've tracked him down to a trailer park. And we've confirmed the number already works earlier. I know his number works. We have tracked him down to a trailer park in uh, Los Angeles, right? LA? Los Angeles? Did I get that right? Louisiana. Louisiana. It says L.A. here, but am I getting confused Let's with Louis? Louisiana is the state. Oh. You do this all the time. How would I know? How would I know? I mean, I thought L.A. was Los Angeles, but fine, whatever. This is like that time you guys told me there were two Washingtons, and one of them was called Washington, and one of them was called Washington State. Like, like I'm going to believe that. <laughs> I- idiots. Ha! <laughs> They tried to convince me there was two Washingtons, but I didn't buy it because I'm smarter than that, okay? Anyway, uh, this dude, honestly, this guy's a fucking coconut. He looks like an actual meathead. Like, his jaw is about three times bigger than the top of his head. Like, he's got a tiny brain and a massive mouth. And I already called him earlier on behalf of the Joe Biden campaign, and he slammed the phone down on me. So, uh, Munson, here's what we're going to do. 
Can you call as a representative of Black Lives Matter and tell him that you're going to sue him and you want his trailer as compensation for the shit that he said? Okay. And I guarantee you he's probably going to go nuts on you. I'm even going to make it say Black Lives Matter on the caller ID. What's his name? Uh, his name is Darren. Uh, I'll, I'll post his name in here for you. Fucking Darren. And believe me, this, this guy is fucking dumb. Uh, Darren from the trailer park. Darren Eckelman. I'm, I am going to name drop him because he's racist as hell and he deserves everything he's got coming, frankly. Uh, yeah, so Munson, say that you saw his comment on Facebook about Black Lives Matter being a terrorist organization and you're going to sue him for like defamation and slander or whatever else like that. Uh, but like, really try and get him mad because I've got a feeling this guy's got the potential to be a brand new Jeff. And say say that you want his trailer as compensation, unless he makes a full apology take to out, him. Take out every bad day you've had this month on this guy. Yeah, anybody that's had like a stressful week or whatever, maybe you've had a lot going on, maybe you've been traveling and you're a little bit tired, like we all are, just fucking, just, just get him. Get him, Scobie. Here he comes, Darren. And he has Do Not Disturb, so the first time we call it, probably goes straight to voicemail. Let's see. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Yeah. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Oh, yes, they are. Got some idiot calling in now. What the f... Ah. Sorry. What? 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 Um, Fuck I just off. Got a, uh, Fuck off. You told me to call you. Fuck off. Okay. All right, bye. Thank you for calling. <laughs> you told me to call you all right here comes darren again it's gonna ring this time scoby so uh, get him get him Urgh. get him scopes your call has been forwarded to voicemail the oh you little prick i'm gonna keep calling he'll probably just get madder i called him at like 1 p.m today and he was in bed still by the way because of course he was. Hello? Hello, I'm looking for a Darren. This is Brother Springwater calling from Black Lives Matter. Do you have a moment, sir? He fucking hung up the little pussy. Right, now I'm just going to call his phone over and over. Call what? from the trailer park. Yeah, if he doesn't start, if he doesn't play ball, we're going to call from his own trailer park management company and Your call has been forwarded to... Oh, Darren, you're not getting away that easily. Should I text him to goad him into... I can probably text him some shit to goad him into calling us. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to text Your him. call has been forwarded to voicemail. Don't be a little pussy, Darren. He's going to get mad. He's going to get mad about all the calls in a moment. Ugh, Darren, come on, play ball. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Right, he's probably blocked the number, so let me change it by one digit and uh, call him again. Huh. Trust me, when this guy gets fired up, it's going to be hilarious. I've Have faith, everyone. Have faith, all right? We know what we're doing here. We know what we're doing. Come on, Darren. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. <laughs> hey, listen, you fat, racist, meathead pussy. When Black Lives Matter call, you talk to them. Go ahead, brother. This is Darren. Oh, he hung up Darren, again. He hung up again. <laughs> right, I'm just going to text him. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, I've just texted him some straight up abuse. Let's give him about 10 seconds to read it. <clears throat> I 
and try to get him fired up. Yeah, shall I make him make a public apology video for calling Black Lives Matter a bunch of terrorists? He might do it, you know, but I was hoping he'd have more fight in him. To an automatic voice message there he goes, blocking the number again. That's no good. This guy may may need a bit of warming up, but uh, we'll get there with him. We'll get there. Darren, come on. Oh. Maybe it's going to be no fun at all. Yeah, DKC underwater Your levels, right? It's probably going to take him 10 minutes to read that whole text. It's got a lot of long words in it. Oh, he's picking up and hanging up now. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Your call has been forwarded to... Let's try the other numbers associated with him just for a laugh, see who picks up. But damn that, what a disappointment. I thought he'd be all fired up already, but don't worry, we'll get him. We'll get him. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail. All right, all right. That one's not got a voicemail set up. Interesting. then. Alright, let's do this complainer that's on hold. And we'll we'll maybe give him a chance to call back. Because he can he can probably call me back. Uh yada 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 yada. Where was that where was that person you had on hold? Let me see. oh it's down here look. Uh CVS Pharmacy, this person's been waiting on hold for over forty minutes, so uh, we better fix that for them. Hopefully it's nothing serious that they need, but uh, uh you know. They'll be okay anyway. Probably. Probably. Mm, 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 mm. All right, what's the name? William. William is on hold to speak to CVS and he's pissed about it. Oh, it's okay. He just wants to talk about his bill. He's not like. Hello? Hi, sir. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team at CBS. How are you doing? I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I'm sorry. I'm in my car. Okay. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team at CBS. How are you doing? I'm sorry. You're calling from who? CBS Pharmacy. Can you hear me okay? Is everything... CBS, okay. The pharmacy. I, I can yeah, hear you. Yeah. You, be, you were on hold to speak to us. You reached out with a complaint, and I'm just calling you back to see if everything got resolved. Uh, nothing got resolved. Oh gosh, tell me what happened. Uh, my daughter was went to your minute clinic, and your whoever handled her insurance billed Express Scripts, not her insurance. So I have a bill for one hundred and sixty or one hundred and sixteen dollars, and I was calling to have them bill my insurance, not my Express Scripts. I was on for forty five minutes, mm. and. I've done customer service, and I can tell when someone picks up on me, waits a second, and then hangs up. Now, when I call back in, the store's closed. Right, right. Okay, I see. I see. Um, and so what was... <clears throat> just explain the problem to me again. You wanted, uh, <clears throat> you wanted your daughter's prescription to be billed differently? No. So my, my daughter went to Minute Clinic to get vaccinations Okay. For, for a new job. When she went there, there was some... Even before she went there, there was some 
questions that she was told by your representative she had to go to Express Scripts. Right. That's not the case. Express Scripts is for a pharmacy. She was getting inoculations, which goes through her medical. So when she went there, she gave our insurance card. Whoever took her insurance card processed it through Express Scripts, not through our medical. Right, right, okay. And I, um, I, I, and how old is your little girl? Uh, 25. 25? Oh. But she's under my insurance. Oh, and she couldn't call herself or, or do handle this on her own now? Yeah, I'm I'm home on disability and she's working for a living. Ah, uh, okay, got you, got you. Because obviously, like, when you call, they, you know they're going to ask to speak to her anyway, right? No. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she she should. And obviously, with your hearing issue, it might just be easier if you get her to call in. I have no hearing issue. You kind of do. I mean, I had to say the name of the company four times at the start of the call. I mean, are you sure you're, you're best equipped to deal with this? Would it be possible she could maybe call into one of our locations? Are you possible? Are you able to be a bigger asshole than you're being right now? Absolutely, yeah. Would you like I, me to? I said I was in my car, and I clicked over from my car. So there, there's a little delay when you go from a sink to All right. speak on your phone. And you sound and like you a... You, I, I mumble. I mumble. Excuse me, I don't mumble at all, you cloth-eared old tit. Look, can I just get yes, your... Yes, you do. Can I, I, excuse me, but I do not. Okay, you're just an idiot, right? And your daughter obviously yeah, can't handle this herself. D don't make me get a supervisor in here. Well, you've been a prick, all right? You're calling me, an you're calling you me names. Get whoever, you, can go, you can get whoever the fuck you want, and your attitude is just a reflection uh, of your customer service. I'll get my supervisor. So want, I don't want to talk to you. You want to get me somebody else? Uh, I don't, don't want to talk, talk to you, that. you fucking useless prick. Yeah, you tough guy over the phone. Ah, say please, say, say, say please. Fucking England or your fucking piece of oh, shit. Now you're gonna be, oh, now you're going to be all racist and xenophobic, are you? Yeah, yeah no. Is that what it is? Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Do you even know what xenophobic means there, you fucking useless old cripple? Yeah, yeah, I'm a useless old cripple. Yeah, you fucking, you're a real, real tough guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. all right. Yeah, get me, get me your supervisor, you piece of shit. Say please, you dickhead. Yeah, no, so, I'm not gonna say please, you fucking ball bag. <laughs> tough shit, then. You're not gonna get any help, are you, for your dumbass daughter? I didn't get fucking any help anyway, you fucking piece of shit. Well, you were going to if you'd learned some manners, but obviously that's that's just way above you. Obviously, the way you talk, you work for a fucking shit company. You're probably a fucking piece of shit contractor. Yeah, and you're the one that waits on hold for 40 minutes begging for help from this shit company. So who's really stupid here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, dickhead. Yeah. Now, look, say please, I'll get the supervisor. You can complain about it to them, yeah? Go, go fuck yourself. I'll never say please do, you dickhead. I'll you just did. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Thank you. you. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Good evening, CVS. This is Michael. Hey, Michael. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I've been passed over some notes here about uh, this call that you're having. Apparently, you've been on yeah, hold for a while. I and... to is the most, whoever I talk to is the rudest piece of shit I've ever talked to in my life. Oh, okay. This kind of matches what it says here. It says here that you were waiting on hold for a while, and when the gentleman tried to help you i guess there was you're throwing some abuse toward his way and so he transferred you to me to try and rectify the situation do you tape your calls oh uh, yeah i mean we have a recording yeah if the call's recorded you should go back and listen to that and, and then you should tell me if i'm in the wrong let me see here i mean i did customer service for years i didn't know it was okay to call your customers a prick well, no, we definitely don't want you to call our representatives that word. I mean, that's definitely... No, that's what, that's that's what he called me. He... That's what hmm. he called me. 
that would be out of character for him. He's usually our best uh, service guy. So what what is the overall he's, problem? He's your best script. My daughter went into your 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 Medicare clinic. Right. Okay, and it was billed through my Express Scripts. It wasn't billed through my insurance, and you gave me a bill. Mm, I wonder, is it possible that Express Scripts is what's on file? I have no idea. I'm not looking at what you're looking at. That's what I was calling. I was calling the. What is the it that they got? Through my insurance. I'm what sorry? is it that they got? What What is it that they they received? Because I need to be able to pull this up here. I confirm. My daughter gave her medical card. Right. Is I mean, was this for a shot or? Uh, yeah, she, she had to get immunizations to start a new job. She transferred employment. Yeah. So it looks like basically what the problem is we cover, or well, we don't, but it depends on the insurance agency. If the insurance agency doesn't cover it then it'll just use what's on file. And what I see here is that since this was an STD-based uh, shot that, you know, VD, that it's not something insurance would cover. I, th th that's not the type of immunization it was. Really? Okay. I wonder what, what happened here because that's what they gave her. They gave her, let's see, penicillin for... It doesn't say what STD, but it's definitely a VD. Right. Right. It's under the Here's the best. I know, I know this call is now fraud. I know you're all fucking yanking my dick because that's not the Look. call that it's not always done. So I don't know what fucking scam you're running, but go fuck yourself. Look, if we can just put you on hold for 45 minutes and maybe get back to you. No, you could fucking suck my dick. That's fine, but you're going to have to wait at least 45 minutes on hold. Yeah, you're fucking... And, and you, I need to make sure you're immunized. Ha ha, immuni <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Dude, that was fucking perfect. <laughs> STD medication. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Oh, was that Hazel? Okay, well done, Hazel. That was great. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine. <laughs> That was fucking great. What an angry man. I'll suck his dick, but we just got to put him on hold for 45 minutes. Have you seen the next complaint? I received a package from Otterbox today that was destroyed by fire in transit. <laughs> I've never, dude, seen, a, I've never seen that before. We care. We care. That's awesome, dude. I can that's barely read the writing. We sincerely regret the damage to your mail during handling by the postal service. And it's just like mush inside. <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call from Otterbox and say that must have been a fake case because all our all our cases would have withstood that fire no problem. So like, it's got to be a. Fa what the fuck? As if they sent him like a completely fire ravaged item. Like it's it's like it's like a bag of like orange dust. That's all that's left of it. Holy shit! I have never seen that before. He bought the self destruction case. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say his, his case had a self-destruct button and it got pressed during transit. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, there's so many ways to go with this one. Holy shit. It's made for our CP customers so they don't get caught with it. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never seen this before. Like, I've seen damaged items, but like, why would they even bother actually delivering it? Do you know what I mean? Like, Why wouldn't they just return it right back to Autobox? Because they care. Really? Uh, okay, Otter, Otterbox. Okay, here we go. Otterbox. Yada, 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 yada. His name's Dwayne. All right, Dwayne. Hello? Hello. Hi, yeah. uh, this is Ronathan calling from the Corporate Liaison Team at Otterbox. May I speak to Dwayne, please? Uh, this is Dwayne. Dwayne, hi. Reason for the call, I was actually passed your information by my social media team. I understand you reached out to them with a, uh, with a problem. I did, and uh, immediately after I hit the post on Twitter, uh, I got a, I did, the folks did can't, uh, actually pick up on the call to customer service, and supposedly I have a new package on the way so 
Um, let's yeah, see. so but, uh, that's it what took I forever remember. to get through, and your your system is horrible about getting through to someone and resolving a, a situation. Oh goodness. Um, well, I, I do have some news about the new delivery, but what what was the problem with the phone system? Uh, it didn't want. All it wanted to do was give me my order status. Uh, it was. It didn't give me an option to actually talk to someone or something other than just getting order status. Hmm, okay, I knew what yeah. the status was. Um, so listen, that, that and I tried to do. I tried to do the chat online. That didn't work. I mean, there was just all all kinds of just messed up, uh, jacked up nonsense. Hmm, what do you, what it do should you... have been really easy just to pick up the phone, talk to you guys. Had a, a a different type issue with another company the other day. Thirty seconds and it was resolved, and that's what it should have taken on this. Okay, when you say there was like nonsense on the site, what what do you mean specifically? Like, what did it what did it say that was not correct? It wouldn't. I mean, the chat wouldn't let me do anything other than wanted to give me uh, if I didn't. I didn't have an issue that was listed as an option there. I had other issues. Hmm. My hmm. issue was that my package was destroyed by fire. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm just looking at the picture there. And, um, okay. And when did you speak to somebody about the replacement? Uh, probably, I mean, I just hung up when you called. Okay. Um, because there is, um, I'm just reading through the notes here of who you spoke to. And, um, because it was obviously fire damage, which is kind of out of our control. Um, they should have made you aware that there will be another charge for the replacement. But that will happen automatically, so you don't need to give your details again or anything. You'll just um, probably no. Don't charge me again. I'm I'm sorry. Do not charge me again. But you wanted a a replacement case, right? For, if it's for free. Well, it, it, it's not for free, sir. I mean, the the other one was damaged during transit. So what you should have done was uh, contacted the USPS to make a claim. Did they not make you aware of that? No. Oh my goodness! And it yeah. should be you that makes the claim, not me. No, I, I'm afraid the the way it works. So okay, is, I mean, cancel, cancel my, cancel my order. I will never do business with OtterBox again. If this is this kind of thing, you guys take care of me because I am your customer. Yeah, no, I, I know you think that, sir. But here's the thing: you will. Oh, so I'm not your customer. Well, not if we give you a refund, no, sir. Um, but here's the thing: you haven't uh, given me a refund. No. You haven't given me anything, what you're saying. Well, exactly. So. I'm stuck with a burned-up package. <clears throat> well, here's the, here's the problem, though, Sam. I mean, we didn't start the fire. You know, it wasn't... It, the, the fire happened... But you're responsible for transit. getting it to me. Correct. Yeah, ab absolutely. And we did get it to you, as you've quite correctly said. No, you said. didn't. Yes, we did. No, all that came to me was a piece of cardboard. No, 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 no. You received the package from us, so we've done our job. But the thing no, is, I, I can, did not. I can cancel the replacement order, but you'll still be charged for the original order. You would have to speak to one of our supervisors if you wanted to. Um, yes, that's you know, what get, I want to get do. the original order. But, but I mean, the problem is, they're only going to tell you the same thing as, that I have, sir. You know, like you, you have received the original order, and that therein lies the problem. No, I haven't. There was nothing in the package. I mean, all I got was a piece of charred cardboard. Right. That's, that's not receiving the original order. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that the phone case would have, you know, the phone cases, I don't know if you know this, but they are highly flammable, so it would have been completely destroyed in the in the blaze. Sure. So, so yeah, I mean, so are you saying you don't want the replacement order? Because, I mean, that, that I'm just checking the status, and that has already gone to shipping, so there will also be a cancellation fee for that? Oh, good grief. No. Don't cancel it if there's a cancellation fee, and do not charge me anything. Well, I, you I, have no authorization to charge my card for anything more than what has already been charged. Well, yes, we do, sir, because you've already entered into a contract of sale with us, and you asked for a replacement, and so she we do have a right. She said there would be right. no charge. No, she she shouldn't have told you that. Who did you speak to? Did you get her name? I did not get her name, but she said there would be no charge, and if you charge mm, me, I will um, file a lawsuit against you guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, we have a great legal team, so I wouldn't be too worried about that now. But, I mean, the thing is, sir, she, you're saying that you spoke to this unknown mystery person and they told you there was no charge The person for... who put the order in, yes. Mm, I mean, I, I'm not even seeing a, a, a female name on here, but um, 
it just yeah you it know, was a I female mean, name that I, it was a female or it sure sounded like a female that talked to me i mean the thing is you wouldn't and even, i've only talked to one person other than you you because you, i could not get through to anyone you would need a little bit more evidence than that to back up this claim of yours about the uh free free phone case uh, you see because that's just not our policy um this is horrible this is horrible you know i i understand um you know, when fire happens, it is tragic. But what you should have done was call the, the shipping service straight away. And um, they even put a label on there with, with, you know, with an apology and everything, which is an admission of liability. So that should have told you that it, it should be them that are paying for the case, you know? No, it should be you that's split. You should deal with them, not me. But, I mean, you deal with them, so they, they're the ones that burned your phone case. But it was your phone case until it got to me. No, no, no. It was your phone case at the moment you purchased it. That's how it works. Okay. I see how you guys are. I, I, you, I, I am totally, this is the worst customer service I have ever had in my life. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like to speak to a supervisor and see if maybe they can use some of their authority to, to maybe make a gesture yes. of good, goodwill that might be able to help things? Yes. Okay. If you can hold for one moment, I'll see if I have a supervisor available. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. All right, thank you. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. This is Michael in the water damage department. How may I help you? <laughs> this is Dwayne Powell. It, it's not water damage. It's fire damage. Oh, hold on. Let me get you over to Dale. One second. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Dale and Natural Disasters. How can I help you? Uh, this is Dwayne Powell, and I received a package today that was burned in transit. And um, oh, after going around the world, it seemed I talked to someone who said they were sending me a replacement at no charge. 
then uh, someone else called back and said, no, there was going to be a charge and it was too late to cancel anything because they, um, uh, it had already gone to Sorry, shipping. Uh, did, so, you say that that was burnt? did you say that it was burnt? It was fire damage? Yes. I'm going to have to put you through to Hazel in, um, in the fire damage. Just one moment. Thank you. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hello, this is a Brenda here in uh, fission uh, radiation disasters. Yes, uh, this is Dwayne Powell, and I received a package today that was destroyed in transit. And uh, oh, your customer service. Hello. Yeah, how was it destroyed? Burned, fire. Oh, right. Sorry. No, this is radiation. I'll pass you on. Give me a second. You're the, you're the third person they have transferred me Your to. Saying, and if they know it's fire, it needs to go to someone Please else. Please hold. Scobie in case you ran out of fried chicken in the hood again. Who am I speaking with? This is Dwayne Powell. Dwayne, how are we doing today, sir? I'm uh, not so good in dealing with uh, Otterbox customer service. Uh, you guys are awful. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Is there, how can I assist you, sir? I want to turn that around for you. Let me turn that around. It is, I received a package today. Well, really, I did not receive a package. I received some charred cardboard today that was supposed to have been a package. And, charred cardboard. Um, I, one moment, please. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. This is uh, karma, uh, terrorism-related damage? No, it's not terrorism-related damage. It is fire damage in transit. Oh, oh, sorry. Wrong department. One second. It's, uh, this is the sixth time that I have been transferred. Your call is very important to us. Please hold.
Good evening. This is the wrong department issues department. How can I help you? <laughs> the wrong issues department? Is that what you said? Yeah, I guess it sounds like maybe you were transferred to me because you were getting a wrong department or something. I've been I'm transferred. Edit, right? I, I can route it to wherever you uh, see this, that's usually what happens when it gets routed to me. What's the what's the issue? Is this damage related or is this sales related? It is damage related in transit. Damage in transit. What kind of damage? Fire. All right. Hold on. Let me connect you over. I, OK. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hi, this is Karma Xeno Bacterial Infection Department. Hello? Are you guys just, are you screwing with me? I'm sorry? I have been transferred seven times and it's just uh, weird yeah, uh, answers yeah, every we're time very I, busy I, here, ma'am. Is, is, is your issue to do with Xeno uh, Biological Infection? No. Okay, one second, ma'am. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Related violence damage. This is Linda speaking. How may I help you? Uh, which department are you in? In the gang related violence damage. How may I help you? I can't understand what you're saying. How may I help you? You could uh, just forget it. I am uh, done with you guys. Uh, you transferred me. What? You screwed around with me. You transferred me to false departments and uh, just made up crap I'm to so sorry, uh, sir. have fun I'm with me. So, so uh, just uh, 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 enjoy it all sir. you want, and I'm done. Uh, well, woman, I'm going to put you through to someone who can help you right away. I'm going to put you through to the Munson's department. Hold one moment. Thank you. He'll take care of you. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hello, this is the pick your ass and smelled it department. This is Munson. How can I assist? Uh, you... Can you uh, take care of a damaged package that I received? Yes, it's for one of the auditors. I'm looking at the notes here. Was it Dude. was it fire damage? What happened, yes. sir? It I was burned it was in transit. Party. What what happened there? It burned in transit. Say that one more time, sir. I'm sorry, you broke up. It burned in transit. Okay, th th I that's pretty obvious at this point. Do you know who transitioned it? Transitioned it? Trannied it? Ups and USPS, and I don't know which one was responsible for it. You, you don't know. Maybe I can look that up here in the system. And when you received it, it was pretty much burnt to a charcoal? Is that the right word? There's, uh, yeah, a big chunk of the package is burnt. Have you ever received anything like that before, sir? That was anything in the no. past that was damaged? No? No. Okay. It looks pretty clear cut and dry here. Uh, this should be able to get you a full refund. I'm going to go ahead and update the notes here, and I'll go ahead and get you through. They're going to go ahead and approve that. Just one moment. Let me get you to the right department.
Hi, you're through to the arson department. This is Hank. Yellow? I hung up. I said arson department. I was going to imply that it was a deliberate fire. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> the arson department. Let me call him back and... Uh, what a jerk off. Hello. Hi there, sir. It's Ronathan again calling from Otterbox. I saw that you terminated the call and I just wanted to make sure everything got resolved for you. No. Oh. What happened? Was there a problem? Yeah, you guys are just being jerks. Huh? Excuse me? What, what happened? <laughs> okay, I think he's done. <laughs> what? A lot of people calling me names think tonight. We were being jerks. We were being very friendly. He's just not, he's just not patient. A nice person. Hazel, I just sent you a picture of the scenes down here. I see that. <laughs> the, the little striped pajamas on. Uh, all right, is anybody else wait? Oh, bud, we got a budget custom. Okay, Anna, we got two budget customers. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anyone. Anna Hurts customer. Oh shit, Belfast's going nuts tonight. I think I'm gonna have to call this show good grief after what that guy said. He sounded just like a badly defeated Charlie Brown, didn't he? He was like, good grief. I can't believe he lasted as long as he did, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's the number for Hertz guy? Ah, oh, there it is, there it is, okay. All right, or Squirt. Oh, it's, no, it's Burt's, isn't it, that we do now? Burt's car rental. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to edit it no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are. You basically. <laughs> oh no, Belfast photoshopping me already. <laughs> he's, he's not wrong. <laughs> that is, that's pretty much the scenes down here on a night. Oh man. All right, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh... Da, 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 da. Terrible customer service. They have to pay a nine hundred dollar fee to drop it off. What? What? This sounds like it's going to get feisty because there's nine hundred dollars involved. Yeah, they're they're really on fire tonight. There's a lot of, lot of angry, angry people out there. I put it down to the holidays. Oh no, we lost Ronnie. Ronnie, call Ronnie dropped out. An automatic voice. We've jinxed it now, Buckfast, by saying that um, by saying the complainers are good tonight. That's it. No one, no one's picking up now. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. System. Really? Oh, nine, that's that's one, it. Nine, eight. Jinxed it completely. Let me try the other numbers just to make sure we're not messing up here. Thank you. Friday's premium show was epic. Not enough people have gone to macronshow.com forward slash tip tonight. Can you believe that? That's why no one's picking up now. If you guys don't go to macronshow.com forward slash tip, people stop picking up. See? See what you've done now? Let's try the next one. You see, you guys, that was, it was all... It an eight-hour show. Eight-hour... We did an eight-hour premium God-level show on... No, premium show on Friday. It premium. Premium. It was real good, too. It was real crazy. Ron, when you have a chance, can you address what's happening in chat? What's happening in chat? What am I, what am I looking at? You? Which, which chat? Which, 
Oh, in the show chat. I, I thought you meant the YouTube chat. I was like, oh no, is there some kind of serious sitch going on with the viewers? And then I'm like, no, they look good. His new tattoo? <laughs> no, what's it? Well, want to know what's hanging out of your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That is my little white penis that's hanging out, obviously. Um, I'd, I'd prefer if you didn't make fun of it, all right? This guy's, Your call has been forwarded. this guy's name is James. Can you believe it? What a stupid name that is. That's a gay, that's a gay name, all right. Can you imagine? James. Ugh. Loser name. Loser name. Oh, shit. Now they're all fighting in the chat. Nicholas just called Cardinal a dickhead. Ah, no! Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> Come on, guys, start a big fight in the chat. It'll Call has been forwarded to voicemail. It'll help my algo. My name is Ron Blackman, and I have a micro penis. Stop it, that wasn't me. I never said that. That's slanderous. It's true, I do only do shows when I'm pantsless. Your call has been forwarded I'm to gay. voicemail. <laughs> Stop it. See? Not enough people went to macronshow.com slash tip. And now no one's picking up. You should all feel terrible about this. Terrible. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Unbelievable. See what you guys have done. See what you guys have done now. Everyone do this. All right, let's have a look in the old numbers room. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, shit. Are those new conference lists there, Belfast? Or is that an old list? I just saw the conference. No, I refreshed it today, so we're going with it. Oh, let's have a little look to see who's doing the conference. And I used to kill three quarters of the meetings off, allegedly, so... Oh, it work. wait a you minute. Know, all, all, the, um, all the times are in UK time, and I don't know what time it is. Is it 11.25? 11.25, 11.25 p.m. Okay, so like, let's just see if... Yeah, holy shit, they've suspended most of the meetings because of me. Unbelievable. Maybe, well, because I fixed all their problems for them and now they don't need the meetings. I gave them the answer to everything. That's what it is. They should be paying me. Welcome and thank you. If you are the host. Unbelievable. They're not even showing up to the ones that are still scheduled either. Oh, we're being hacked. Yes, you are. Thank you for calling our telephone meeting. If you are the moderator, this call has been blocked. What? Okay, all right, fuck that. Fuck them off. Fuck them off for now. Let's try and get through these complainers. Let's see. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. Oh, look, another Hertz one already. Da -da -da -da. This person had to be on hold for three hours. Why would you hold to speak to Hertz for three hours? I'd be... I'd just be like, fuck him, you know what I mean? Fuck him, fuck hurts. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Ah. Hello. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Ron calling from the corporate liaison team at Burt's. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Reason for the call is your uh, file was actually passed to us by our social media team. Um, I understand you'd reached out with a complaint. Yeah, I I tried to return my car and I got ran around in circles and told to call the exact same number that I just called for about three hours. Oh. I was trying, so I was at the Four Seasons and they told me that Hertz consistently will pick up 
from the Four Seasons. Mm. And after three hours on the phone, I decided to just to drive an hour to return an Uber back. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we have been quite busy at the moment, especially with the holiday season. Did we were aware that it was a holiday? Was I aware it was a holiday? Yes. Yeah, I was aware it was Thanksgiving. Right, okay, yeah. So you can understand how it, we may be a little bit short-staffed and a little bit more busy than usual, right? Short-staffed wasn't the problem. I mm -hmm. think you're misunderstanding what was happening. Well, you were, you were saying that there was a long hold time, and I'm just explaining why. No, I didn't. I thought I was on the phone for three hours. Right. I wasn't... I understand that whole time, but they would tell me to call the number I just called, and they can't help me. Right. So they gave me the number that I exactly just called, mm. and they wouldn't answer anything. So I, then I had to call the same number back and talk to someone else. And, just, and then they gave me another number, which gave me the exact same person. He oh. told me to hit number five to talk to the local rental place. Sure. And number five is if you're an insurance agent. So it wasn't oh. a whole time that I was having the problem. Okay, with. I see. It was I see. wrong information and people that weren't helpful. Okay, and just so to... So I don't understand what the holiday has to do with that. Well, no, it's just that you had mentioned that you were, you were three hours on the phone, and I thought that's what you were complaining about. There's no need to get upset about that, madam. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to explain I things thoroughly upset. for you. Well, madam, I'm sorry that you're ups upset. Madam, I'm sorry that you're upset, and I am here to try and help you with with everything. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, what is it you would like us to do as kind of a resolution here, ma'am? Are you calling me, ma'am? Yes. Okay, that's an awkward thing to call a guy, but. Oh, I'm so whatever. I'm so sorry. It's just the the. You know the high-pitched effeminate voice that you have that's all when you're whining um, So what is it you would like us to do <laughs> as a uh, ah, As compensation hilarious. for you, sir. I'm sorry uh, Can I talk to your supervisor? Uh, yes, absolutely. And is this phone call recorded? Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely um, If you can just hold for one moment, I'll see if I have a supervisor available bear with me Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Thank you for holding your through to Scobia supervised with Burtz. How can I assist? Uh, yes, I'd like to file and complain about the last guy I was speaking to. Absolutely. How's your day going? <laughs> it was going better until he called me. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, ma'am. Um, you're talking to the right individual. I can go ahead and file that for you. 
did you just call me ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Well, where, where would you like to start exactly? Do you mind me asking what happened in the beginning of the call? Why, why are you calling me ma'am? Uh, it's a southern thing. I'm from, I'm from the south, and whenever I speak to a nice young lady, uh, I can tell you, you know, you're... You know, you're a very attractive lady, and um, it's just something that I was always kind of brought up from my mother. If I didn't call you ma'am, my, my mother would give me a spanking on the bottom, you know? <laughs> so how can I help you, ma'am? This has got to be a joke. There is no you way this is that really you to go ahead and file. I can go ahead and set that up for you, sir. I can go ahead and get that started. You can what? Young lady, if you would like me to go ahead and continue through, I can go ahead and start that pro process. You wouldn't be what single by chance, would you? What the fuck is happening? There's no way. Are you real legitimately with Hertz, or is this a scam call? I am with Hertz. Young lady, you've been sent over. You've been escalated. I assume you wouldn't go ahead and speak to somebody that's a higher up. You were escalated over to me. Oh, my dear God. What a waste of my time. You have a sexy... Yeah, sex <laughs> <laughs> I'll call back. Say you got disconnected. <laughs> Can you hear the cycle going crazy in the back? Can you guys hear that? Not really. Sounds fine. Okay, good. What was her problem? Thank you for calling Faces Photography. <laughs> he does sound like a girl, though, to no. be fair. Faces Photography. Did I miss? I think I missed some complainers here. I think I did. Got this budget one here. Oh, no, I definitely tried the budget one. I didn't see this one where the rental car hadn't you needed. Thank you for calling Faces for. Oh, he's not talking. Uh, there's a budget one here that says they had to get new windscreen wipers for their rental car. <laughs> like what? This could be a good one. He did. I mean, he did sound just like a young girl, though. An attractive young girl, I agree with you, Scoby, as well. He sounded like a hot woman, you know? Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's see. Uh, 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 budget. This person had to clean their own windshield as well. Well, of course you fucking did. I mean, well, I... Duh. What do you think the wipers are for? Hi, this is Lorraine. I'm unavailable to take your call right now. Please leave me your name and phone number, and I'll get right back to you. You might have thought her name was Lorraine there, guys, but it's actually Lorraine. It doesn't make sense to me neither. Hi, this is Lorraine. I'm on. See, Lorraine. I'm hitting the fuck you buttons for you. I know, right? Hi, this is Lorraine. How dare you? Should I leave her a rude message and see if she tweets about it? Can you keep an eye on her Twitter if I do? Hi, this is Lorraine. I'm unavailable to take your call right now. Please leave me your name and phone number, and I'll get right back to you. Thank you. To leave a callback number, press 5. 
Hi there, Lorraine. I'm calling from Budget about your uh, complaint. Um, just to confirm, yes, the windshield does need to be kept clean. That's that's so you can see out of it. That's why it has the word shield in the name. Uh, if you do have any more questions about operating your motor vehicle, uh, you can consult the car's handbook or any local available man. Thank you for using Budget and have a great day. Okay, keep, <laughs> keep an eye on her Twitter. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, Dyson. We got a complaint about Dyson. What do we think about Dyson products, you guys? Who are you asking? Everyone, everyone in here, you guys. I'm I in, like. I know. I'm I know. Cat's like a like a simp for Dyson for sure. Cat, she loves. I, I she have, loves Dyson. Uh, I have all Dyson vacuums here. They're so good for pet hair. Really? Okay. Yeah. And I do like out of all the the sucks, Dyson is the best. <laughs> and blows. And blows. They yeah. blow good, too. It's just the way you said it sucks there. I mean, what are you using it for, buddy? Does it have a nice... Use your imagination. A nice smooth sucking action, does it? I'm single and celibate. What the fuck am I going to use a Dyson vacuum for? <laughs> okay, fair enough. I think it's called Dyson. 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 Nice. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say I'm from Dyson. 60-minute queue to speak to someone, though, when ordering parts. What do you think about that? That's what this person says. I bet they're called on, like, Thanksgiving or something as well. Like, all these people are complaining that the phone took a long time. I bet they were all calling at, like, dinner time on Thanksgiving. Uh, Bugfast, keep an eye on that last person. That I... Hello? Hello? Hi, may yeah. I speak to Jennifer, please? This is Ronathan calling from Dyson. Oh, hi, this is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. I wish I got my part. Yeah, um, so I, I actually work for the Corporate Complaints uh, Division. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, sure. So I ordered, uh, I can tell you my order number. I ordered a battery replacement about October 30th or something. Okay. And... Um, I never received it, and I never got any kind of notice on my door or anything that I didn't get the delivery. So mm. I finally called after waiting, like, I don't know. I actually, I tried to call, and it was like a 70-minute wait. Then I did the text on WhatsApp, and that I got a response like three or four hours later, maybe even longer. Mm -hmm. And then they just sent me a link to the post office saying that the order was sent mm -hmm. and then the link didn't work. Then it finally worked because the USPS, like it's awful. Um, then it said that it was attempted to be delivered, but then it never got to me. And I think it's at the post office. I tried calling the post office today, but their tracking system was down. So and the post office isn't close to my house. So I wanted to see if I could get a whole new one sent to me. Um, I don't, I just don't oh. know how to resolve the issue. No, I, I, absolutely. I mean, you know, why should you have to go and collect it from the post office or even be in when it gets delivered? I mean, why should you? Uh, let me see what I can do here for you. Um, okay. So I see that you needed a battery. Um, yes. That's no problem. I have um, order number. Okay. And can you just tell me the total cost of the original order, just to confirm? Sure. It was $104.51. Okay, no problem. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send another one straight out to you. Would you like me, um, because it's coming from the corporate office, I can send it with priority shipping. Um, so okay. it should get there within a few days. Is that okay? Yeah, that's, um, that's great. Perfect. So, And I assume it's the same address as before? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So let me just confirm everything for you. Uh, okay, so... That has been ordered for you. Uh, it should be there in the next, okay. I, I would imagine, by the end of the week at the latest. Um, and okay. uh, your card has been charged uh, 259.69 in total, including tax. Is there anything else why? I can help you with? Why, why was my card charged $259? Oh, so it's 104.51 for the battery, and then uh, the rest is the express shipping and the tax and all that stuff. Wait, I don't want to pay $259. Oh, but you you said you wanted another battery to be sent. 
Yeah, but I I don't want to pay a hundred. You were saying it's, I don't want to pay extra. I'll oh, get I, the other one. I, don't I want see. To I see the problem. So you didn't want to be home when the battery was delivered. You don't want to go and pick the battery up yourself, and you want another battery sending, well, but I you think, don't want to pay for it. I would be happy to be home if, if, if when the mm. battery is to be sent. They mm. just didn't put a, a notice. They didn't tell me it was attempted to deliver it. I would have written a note like saying, please leave it, you know. Uh, I don't oh. want, my, my post office isn't closed. Um, I just wanted that one to be returned and then to get a new one. I don't want to be charged $259. Oh, well, why don't you just go to no. the why don't you just go to the post office and pick the the other one up then then it'll be free. I don't even know if it's there. The USPS doesn't answer like they won't answer. They answered the phone earlier and they said their tracking system is down. They couldn't tell me if my package was in the post office. It's New York City. It's not like a you know a mom and pop post office. So then they couldn't tell me it was there. Then I tried calling back and they didn't pick up. The website doesn't tell me if it's there. It's been there since like sometime early in November. I don't know if it's still going to be there or if it's been sent back to you. Have you thought about going down there and asking? Yeah, but it's not even close, and I will go. But it's, I haven't had time to go to the post office. I ordered this from you, and I would think that you could arrange for it to be delivered. But, uh, yeah, I'm going well, to have to go I, down there. I can, arrange for it. I can arrange for it with ma'am. I mean... Do you not think you're being a little bit unreasonable? You want, you're not willing to do anything and you want us to send another battery for free just because you can't be bothered to go down there? I mean, do you think that's... Oh, my God. That has nothing to do with it. It has nothing that's to do with it. That's literally what you just Amazon said, though. Amazon would send me another battery without even me saying anything. Well, so why don't you contact Amazon, have... then? Excuse me? Why don't you contact Amazon, then, if Amazon would send you a free battery? Why don't you just ask I them would. for one? I would. Obviously, I should okay. have. I'm sorry that I went through Dyson. I'm very sorry because it's huh. become a crazy job. Yeah, I mean, I mean I if, if only you could be home work. when you have deliveries or, you know, be bothered I to go and I pick them up. I don't know when it's going to be delivered. Are you serious? I don't know when it's going to be delivered. And they didn't leave a note saying it was delivered. Well, Usually, if they leave, <clears> look. What, so you can't do anything for me. Is that what you're saying? Like without well, yeah, charging me another $104? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I just didn't realize you were expecting to get everything for free. That's all. I've never really heard somebody be that, you know, self-entitled, unfortunately. It's not going to be for free because you're going to get the other one back. How? When it's at your local because post I don't office. I know where it is. Right, but how do you know no. we're going to... If you don't know where it is, then how do you know for certain we're going to get it back? I don't know, but you should... Well, why'd you say that then? I mean... If I pay for something, I should be able to get it. Absolutely, I completely agree. But sometimes when you don't wait at home and you don't check your tracking information that's sent in via email, then unfortunately you may be slightly inconvenienced due to your own I, poor decision-making. You know, I told you, I did I mean, what track we're... it. And why should I have to be on the phone for five hours? And why should I have to argue with you? This is not Why should you have to do anything? That is a good point. Why should you, as an oh American God. citizen, you have to do anything? So rude. You think that... The, why should you? Rude. Why should you ever have to do anything for yourself? That is a good point, ma'am. Absolutely. Why should you? Why oh should you? Gosh. Oh we should God. we should send that battery, wanna, bring it to I your house, to and then we should vacuum up for you while you lay down on the floor like Veruca Salt, screaming, I want it now! Oh I want it Are now, you... Daddy! Get it for me! Okay, you're Veruca? Nuts. You're nuts. So can a little you bit. tell me that you're not going to charge my card? Please take that I've already back. charged the card. If you want it to be cancelled now, you're going to have to speak to a supervisor because unfortunately there is a 10% restocking fee if I cancel this order and I'm sure uh, you're not going to be... Can you transfer me to a supervisor? Jesus Christ. All right. Can you hang on for a minute or is that not acceptable for you either? Nope. I'm going to hang on. Good. Yeah, I know. It will require a little bit of patience. I know that's going to be real difficult for you, but, you know, bear oh with me. Oh, my gosh. Shut up. I wish this was being recorded. Me too. Your call is very important to us. Please hold.
exchanges and returns. This is Michael. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, I just was on the phone with somebody, a, a, a corporate representative, calling me about um, my order that I never received. And then he said he was going to send me another one. And then after I said, great, he said, okay, your card has been charged $259. And I said, wait a minute, I didn't ask that. I just never received um, my original order and I wanted to make good on that. So I would like to have that 259 uh, taken away and uh, canceled. Well, there is, okay, there is a cancellation fee, but I'm able to waive that. All you, I, I can wait, to... ma'am, ma'am. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I can I'm actually here. waive that. I can waive that. All okay. I need you to do is stop by and sign something and then we can waive the fee and actually give you the battery right there. I ha where are you? How am I going to stop by? Where am I going to stop by? Do you? This, hold on, let me look. I think, like, I know that we're near. Looks like you're in that zone. I, mean, I believe you're. You're. We're like maybe six blocks from the post office in Staten Island. Oh, I'm not. I'm nowhere near Staten Island. Oh, hold on. Well, we got another no, one. I, we have. I, we uh, we can be at. We're at West Fulton Street. On the fifth floor in Chicago. I don't mean, I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, Brooklyn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Okay. I'm just sorry. This has been like the nuttiest conversation I had. I'm sorry. I was I'm, telling you about Rupert Salt. Oh, oh, that, that usually means ugly. something. I, I wish that it was recorded because he kept telling, he was like, Jesus Christ, lady. What are you, I mean, it was nuts. Well, let me fix that recording situation here. Hold on just a second. Okay, um, yeah, basically we've got a couple locations near, you said Brooklyn, right? Yeah, mm hmm Do you, are you familiar with, like, the post office, that area? There are many post office. Yeah, it'd be the one, let's see, hold on. I have to find out where my guy would have to pick, because I'm doing the tracking here, and it appears we have one ready to be picked up at the post office. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell the person that that my delivery, I think well, we'll pick it up for you. Post office. We'll what? go there and grab it. We will definitely go there and grab it. But then you just need to come to us to sign something and pick it up from us. Okay, that's fine. I and and will that? What's your? I don't know what the two hundred fifty nine was for. Oh, okay. So basically, they're probably either sending you a replacement, and then when uh -huh. we get the old one back we would refund the original charge plus the uh, restocking fee. But the restocking fee is only about, what is it like for, it, if that's 100, it looks like 110. So it don't the restocking fee would only be $28. So but that's I, what, we I don't need any information. We'll just charge it. Say that again? We would need any information. It would just be charged to what's on file. Yeah, so he charged my card. He said, I, I just charged you $259. I don't know what that was for. I didn't ask to be, to be okay. charged two hundred and fifty nine dollars. Well, so we take great pride here at Dyson. We suck so you don't have to. So if you need us to vacuum for you too, we can always do that. Do you need us to vacuum your house as well, or do you just you just need us to get you the battery? Because I'm a little confused. It sounds like you don't want to do anything to get your battery here. You don't want to pay for it. Oh, no, you don't want to pick it up. Get, I, you don't I want do to come by. To get my battery, I would. You'll do to anything. Get my battery. All right. If you'll do anything, I, I, all you got to do is drive. If my battery, yeah. Just drive to the post office, because if it wasn't delivered, I'm showing here delivery was attempted. That means when they right. can't deliver it, they bring it back to the post office. They don't just like leave it on the oh. side of the road and then pick it up the next yeah, day. They I'm, bring I'm it back. Oh, good, I'm, good, good. I'm, good. I'm kind of confused on why you're calling. What? Sorry, sorry, I've had a long day. So I'm I'm a little confused what you're calling about then. Ma'am. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, yeah. So I agree. I, this is ridiculous. It is. I don't understand what's going on. I feel like I'm on like a prank phone call. I don't think my boss um, would like the fact that he's paying me to talk to you about this right now because the solution is so goddamn simple. Oh my gosh. Are okay, you so what is, uh, is it laziness? Is it laziness, what? stubbornness? Are you just a cunt? What is it? What do you want me to do? Holy, oh my God, this can't be real. This can't be real. 
Oh, sure. Okay. That so I can close this then because we've got an open case on this. I that, we definitely don't oh, want to leave hung, this open. She, hung, she hung up. She <laughs> <laughs> fucking lost it. I can don't you know believe, why. No, dude, you were fine. Can you believe this fucking woman? Like as soon as you came on the phone, before you got a chance to say you were waving the fee, she was just like, <laughs> "I don't want to." Be, 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 be. <laughs> like Jesus I'll do anything Christ. For it. Oh, will yeah. you? Something else. How about be home? Go pick it up. Fucking stop calling. If you Do went around to a house it. and picked up every fucking molecule of dust with a pair of tweezers, she still wouldn't be fucking happy, would she? This <laughs> fucking bitch. I'm going to call her. You know what? She's like Amazon would have done it. I think Amazon just ruins people to think they can just get things re-delivered, re-delivered, yeah, re-delivered, like, I, Amazon don't give a shit. That's why. They're also very, very like. There's like a 75% chance you'll get a fake Dyson battery from China when you try and order one off Amazon. But that's that's not on me. That's true. Mm -hmm. Hi, sorry, I can't get to the phone. Please leave me. A oh no! Did she block Dyson? Why would she do that? I gotta go for a little break. Little refreshment. I was going to use that suck, Dale. I was going to use that when I first answered, but I thought I might lose her. I was going to be like, hi, welcome. We suck, so you don't have to. That was a good one. Can't believe she thought it was a prank call as well. What kind of idiot would think that? Prank call. Hi, sorry, I can't get. I think she's done. Do you guys want to hang out in the manhole while I take a very brief break? Yes, yes we do. Thanks, guys. Scobie, you're in here. Scobie, you're going in the manhole, buddy. No midget stories? Unless you want to talk about midgets. I need one minute. Okay, well I'm going to throw you in there and then you can tell the midget stories in the manhole, okay? I'll be back. Well, oh, yeah. You. Sorry. Oh yeah, I want to say thank you for the super chat from uh, Dale, and uh, everyone please go to macronshow.com forward slash tip. We need your help, we do. I'm going to throw, I'm gonna throw uh, the rest of these guys in here. I'll be right back, you guys. You've reached the back door. Your, your connection is made. Say hello. What? Yeah. This is Percy. Hey, what's up, How you man? doing? How you doing? What you got over there? Your one-on-one -on -one conference Fuck has you. ended. I hate these fucking people, man. Your connection is made. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Who's, who's this? Your one-on-one -on -one conference <laughs> has <laughs> ended. I'm done. I'm done. Your connection is made. Say hello. Your one-on-one -on -one conference has ended. See, I don't even try. Your connection is made. Say hello. 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 How are you people? Hey, stroking here. How about you? Oh, you stroke, you stroke your noodle? Your one-on-one -on -one conference has ended. Your connection is made. Say hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Me too, fine. Uh, what you doing? What you doing? Your one-on-one -on -one no, like, conference no, no. has ended. Your connection is made. Say hello. 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 I make a better gay. Your one-on-one -on -one yeah. conference has ended. You will now hear music until a match is found. <laughs> Yo, I need some dick, bro. Your one on one conference has ended. Who's that? Your connection is made. Say hello. Hello. Your one on one conference has ended. Your connection is made. Say hello. Hey, sweet cheeks, what are you doing? Sweet cheeks. Yeah, you sweet cheeks. That's what I'm calling you. What are you doing? No response. What the fuck? You cut out there. Uh, what are you doing, sweet cheeks? 
Yeah, I thought you'd be able to answer instead of running away from the question. I'm surprised. I didn't run away from the question, bitch. I didn't hear you. And then you what gotta speak you, up, you cunt. Say? Cunt? Yeah. Kind of yeah. Fucking rude ass word you know what it's that, like? Bitch. I'm sweet cheeks, you're a cunt. All right, now we're getting somewhere. What are you doing, bitch? Come on. What are you doing? Don't worry about that. It's not like your wife that ran out. What are you doing? We passed that. We passed that, bro. What are you doing? I like you. (laughs) You what? You got to speak into the phone, pal. Or get a better phone. I said I like you, bitch. Oh, you like me? How much do you like me? What do you want me to do? Well, I said how much do you like me? I like you enough to put your fucking head on a stick. Oh, that's nice. Where are you calling from? Not any place expensive. Jersey. Did you say Jersey? Yeah. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? You poor kid. What do you do for a living, pal? Let me guess. You bring people food in your car? away from questions again. That's all right. I'd be intimidated too, buddy. You're a douchebag. I skin corpses and I wear their flesh. Nah. First of all, you don't skin corpses, do you? Well, I do. After I fuck them. Loser, like a fucking loser, eh? Well, do you fuck them while they're alive or after they're dead? After they're dead, obviously you don't want them moving around. Uh You don't? Why? Because, like, especially when they have that like final shit, nobody wants that. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a wives' tale. That doesn't happen. No, that really does happen. No, it doesn't. So I'm a physician. It really does. You, it you relax all your muscles and everything just goes. Of course that right. happens. Right, I'm just going to tell you, I'm a physician. It doesn't happen. Sure, you're a physician. Sure you are. I'm the manhole. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> of course you because are. And this is what you do with call? your time. For Yeah, sure it is. So doc- doctors don't fuck? No, doctors do fuck. Doctors don't fuck on the okay. manhole necessarily. Well, we're not fucking anybody in the manhole because we're on the telephone line. That's true. Yeah, That's you're true. A frigid queer. What kind of a physician are you? Also, oh, I can't hear when more people talking. So yeah. What to, kind of a uh, physician are you? Obviously, not I'm an a audiologist. Cardiologist, cardiothoracic surgeon. Cardiothoracic. Okay. It's also a frigid uh, queer. He runs away when anyone talks. Well, I didn't run away, did I? No, the other guy got kicked. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was another person you're thinking of. I it guess. was another person, and he got kicked. How did, we all, how did we all get in this same manhole chat? I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. Because you guys are talking on a three-way call. I'm We're not. not. I'm on, I called the manhole with my girlfriend, and there's well, two sure other you guys. Are. You and... guys know each other. No, I only know the girl. I don't know these three other or four however many other people. I'm I don't know. You. I... Well, I don't know who that is. Are we still in the manhole? There's like three guys that I don't know on there's the like, call. Yeah, there's you and there's this other British guy or something. And there's the guy that wants his dick sucked. I don't know. The position. Yeah, that's probably going to be successful. I'm guessing right. this physician doesn't assume the position many times in the day. <laughs> what is going on in I, here? I don't know what that guy's talking like he's got marble. Another, now know, there's another person. What? Hello? Who the thought, hell are these people? I thought this was the one-on-one on one room. someone named Jeff if his colostomy bag was leaking? The one-on-one <gasps> room. <laughs> Would you fuck some guy named Jeff if his colostomy bag was leaking? I'd fuck a guy named Scott if his, like, colostomy bag was leaking. I'm not Jeff. That's too... That's not just too a Jeff. No, that's it's a bit low rent. I might yeah. fuck, like, a Ray or something. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, Ew, right. imagine that. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Stupid name. Yuck. <laughs> Why are you guys Googling, do you poop when you die? That's what. Because this thoracic surgeon says that you don't. So we Googled you it don't. and clearly you do. 
Um, I'm pretty okay. sure you According do because you everybody does that. In the olden days, when they used to hang people for crimes, they had to put a bucket underneath to catch the poop. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. They, oh, wow. You were alive in the olden days. Yes. It was oh, like two good years for you. Ago. I mean, the last hanging yeah, happened in Britain just, during the 70s. Just so you know, so. it's patently untrue. No, it isn't. No, okay, it we is. have three different sites. Well, that I'll state give you an example. Is. If you if you hung somebody in the olden days, you usually did it outside for a crowd of people. Why would they put a bucket on the outside if it was going on the grass? Well, uh, so they don't have a big pile of poop under the place yeah, where they, they do the hangings. Go. All right, great, great of explanation. It, of course, it's true. Nobody's walking under that, though, right? Nobody's walking under it, but who wants like massive piles of shit underneath the gallows? You know. Massive? How many people do you think they hung a day, my friend? I have no idea, oh, but I mean... Underneath, it's all right. Well, you better do me a favor. If you have no idea, then don't speak about it. Well, you don't know. listen to you trying to be a smartass while you're in the manhole. Listen to you. I'm, I'm not being a smartass. I'm telling you you're factually incorrect. And I'm telling you you're it, factually incorrect. This is like incorrect. that bullshit when people say, when you sneeze, your heart stops. That's why you say, God bless you. It's stupid. It's a wife's tale. No, that's Don't not believe true. everything you read. You're an angry young man, aren't you? You're one of those He's angry... Not I'm not a young either. man. I'm just telling you, I'm probably angry because you got the Kardashian twins out here trying to talk like that. And you got people like you who are trying to tell twins. me and other people what trying the truth to is. to talk like that? Listen to this guy. He's like in the manhole showing off. Well, no, he like <laughs> made fun of, he made fun of because he, he made fun of Scobie because he thinks he's poor and from New Jersey. Wow. This he guy's a real ang angry, bitter old man. He's probably sitting in some shitty little apartment, isn't he, with just a bunch of books and a lot of time yeah, on his a, hands. He's a cardiologist. He's like oh, and a true. thoracic surgeon. <laughs> yeah, my ass. My ass. I don't, I don't think <laughs> I he is at all. Yeah, 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 you don't want to talk about your ass now, please. please. Thanks. Is that, you're, What's not, that? you're not a surgeon at all, though, let's be honest. No, you, you're absolutely not. I, I deliver for FedEx. You caught me. Thanks. I don't even think, think you do that, to be honest you with know, you. You, you sound unemployed. Okay. Jobs, like, there's something wrong with them. Like, I do. Delivering food for a living or working for FedEx is like it's a bad thing. It's an honest like, I know, right? I know, problem. right? Like, this, this guy's a real fucking bitter asshole. You can tell he has no friends. That's why he's in the manhole all day. That's it. You're going to do that whole thing where I'm angry because I'm angry at myself. This is like this 10th grade humor and no. psychology you're going to no, throw at us. No, you're angry at women. The you fact, must be real hateful of yourself. That's the fact, you the fact that you're so people. angry really? at the world is not, no reflection on me, is it, sir? <laughs> of course it's not. my not. fault you're no. an unlicensed cardiologist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Except in the manhole. It's nice, so, hey, it's um, nice when he still ain't got fucking laid. I'm an amateur gynecologist, so, guy, but what does that matter? Who, who I gotta tell you, man, from your laugh, now. your cough sounds pretty intense. I'd cut out the cigarettes. Oh, really? I'd cut out the cock smoking if I was you. Right. Well, at least one of them's not causing lung cancer. Well, yeah, exactly, but it sounds like you've hey. definitely got some kind of STD going on that's got you all mad at the world. Is that what it sounds it's like? Unable what does to... an STD sound like? What does an STD sound like? Sounds like you, like buddy. You. you. <laughs> it sounds like you. There we go. That, that's your best answer? I knew you would say it. Oh, you did. Oh, you knew. If you look at the dictionary, you're, you're so smart, picture. and oh, we're really all so impressed. We're so impressed with you. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. Oh, we should hang out. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, heart guy. Does it make you feel better that all these people plan. are agreeing with you? I like that. Yes, yeah. it does. Does it make yeah. you all happy? Does it make you angry Good that news. everyone's agreeing with me and disagreeing with you? Like, the general consensus is that you just... What are they you, disagreeing with? The general consensus is that you're bitter and stupid here, and I think we can all agree okay. on that, right? If you think I'm stupid, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I know you're stupid, but... You know, I was just trying to be polite. Good for you. He doesn't know anything. No, you're right. He's I know Googling. nothing. He's Googling it. Take me Jesus back to your man. country where people are much more intelligent. What the hell? What's that even What does that even mean? Like, what was that? God well, you, put you, Jesus so in you, my you heart. you were born in America. You don't have an accent. You're pretending that's not true? You don't. You think I was born in America, do you? I said, were you born in America? You don't have an accent. That's uh, not true. Is that a you problem? You don't have an accent. Is that a problem the for you as well? The said you were from England. Well... You're kind of like this pompous person out here trying to pretend that you're something you're not, but you're calling me that, so why isn't that good for you? Huh? 
What the fuck was that? Is, is that the best you can do? You're sounding all flustered now. You're not even making a lot I, I of sense. I just said to you that's the best you could do. Now yeah, you're throwing the same words back. Buddy, you got to be original. You're not really... I mean, you're really... You're embarrassing yourself here. I know. You're not really... You're embarrassing really, yourself. You're stuttering when you're trying to say it. Do I sound uh, like I'm stuttering though, at all? Now. You don't know what a stutter is, do you? Clearly you're not like yeah, a very no, qualified I doctor don't. here. I mean, I'm I, hearing it with you. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if this guy was your actual doctor? Like, what a ball bag. Like, I bet he's got... Well, you know, oh, wait, now I'm a doctor very, again? I said, can you imagine if this guy was your doctor? Oh. Different. Again, you're very not... Difficult you, you, so I'm a doctor again. Your you have a lot of... Your level of intelligence <laughs> is so <laughs> yeah, smart. Exactly. Imagine if this guy was... Exactly. Your exactly, my one. friends. Imagine if this Agree guy was on me. the line to the manhole while he was doing your heart surgery. That would be amazing. Your heart surgery. I'd have more respect for him if he was. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you're using um, your real voice and not some affected Kim Kardashian voice. That would this be is good. my. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumbass! That would like, be really. Actually, oh my sure. god. <laughs> While I have you on the line, can I just ask you one quick medical question? I really don't know who's talking now, but okay. No, can I'm so I ask confused. you one quick medical question? You want to ask me a medical question? Yeah. What's your medical question? Are you going to test me? Do you I'm like Do you like how no, this guy's I'm idea of sounding intelligent is just answering I every question one, with another question, and he thinks question that makes him smart? You. Since I have you on the line, can I just take one minute of your time and ask you? Sure. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I what you <laughs> See, he just answers everything with a question because he thinks it makes him sound more intelligent. And this is why he's that, got that no wasn't friends. A question. I said I didn't hear <laughs> It was a said. question. It actually <laughs> was a question. <laughs> you idiot. I didn't hear what you oh, said. Oh, man. Question? You really just dig in the I hole said, deeper the here, aren't you, buddy? You? Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Uh, you just Doctor dig it. Who. Keep that? quiet. That's Let me talk that? to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I love this talking? guy. The floor is all yours. Talk. Go ahead, talk. Yeah, enlighten us, buddy. I just said I didn't hear what you said. You wanted to ask me a question. <laughs> Listen, Miracle Ear. <laughs> 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 Listen, Miracle Ear. <laughs> this guy's a complete bullshit artist. He's just not very good at it. It's amazing, really. Take no, the you're phone right. out I'm of not. your vagina and put it to your ear. And then you're all okay? This is the Kim girl talking again? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Can... Can I Kim? Because I think every female, since she probably talked to none, yeah, uh, exactly. So like, I'm like this is the longest oh conversation he's had with a female in the last decade. You can really tell, can't you? I don't think she's a female, but that's my... <laughs> is that your expert medical opinion, is it? <laughs> yes. So what's your question, Doctor Who? My question... Um, yeah, she, um, she, now we forgot it. No, she asked you, she asked you what the fuck was wrong with you. Um, what my, the fuck? That's the question? Okay. My, quest, my question Here's is... My question is... You sound fat. Question mark. I do. And you sound <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you don't go out a lot? Are you a big fat guy? You have a you have you have a fat voice. That's all I'm saying. Like you sound like a big fucking chubby guy. Do you know what I mean? You you have do that. I? Well, yeah, I, I you gotta tell a, you, if I if I was a chubby guy, I could buy and sell you. So what's the difference? Why? How? What? What's the logic because there? Because he has money. Because he's a you, you don't understand that. Well, don't no, no, I don't. So. Genuinely, explain they don't, it to they me. They don't speak like that in London. No, no, nobody speaks like you in London. I just said I could buy and sell you. You know what, sir? Okay. I promise you, I have more money than you. I promise. I mean, jokes. You. No, don't. You don't. I don't know who. Kim, relax. Kim, relax. Your TikTok <laughs> fame is not going to buy you that much, or dear. You're oh, covered no, in Kim Cheetos Kardashian. in your no, mom's basement. Relax. I'm so sure. I'm so sure. Yeah, you're definitely right? covered just in like Cheetos the, uh, in your mom's basement. Just like the smoker we have out here, too. Mm. Wow. You're just so healthy and such a good guy. Thank you. I don't you. know why what more a manhole people don't, like, hit on I you. I appreciate it. You, you, you must, must be, like, the star of every cocktail party that you go you to. You must. Huh? That's true. That's true. Does your wife know you hang out in the manhole? You're must. Well, I'm on the gay chat line. I'm not married. Yeah, we can tell. Oh, we can yeah, tell that. You're on the gay chat that's line. Not you a, can tell that that's I'm not, not married because I'm on the gay chat line? No, 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 no. Long? I can tell you're not married because you're a complete dickhead, but... 
I can tell you're not married because you're a complete nutter. Shut oh, up, now he's made, now he's doing a bad you're English accent. Now about. he's had to revert to the fucking six-year-old humor. There we go. <laughs> oh, the six-year-old humor, you like you're making fun of my voice. <laughs> Okay. Where did you what? From? Okay. okay. Hold on, hold on. I got another call. I'll be back. Is it one of the? Oh, sure you <laughs> He's running yeah. away. <laughs> oh man. Make sure you do it that way. I love this guy. Okay. Make sure you Dr. do it that way. Is he matriculated? Wait, listen to him. He thinks he's on a work call. It's yeah. Jordan Peterson. <laughs> really? Now, how come uh, Dr. C's not asking him some questions? Yeah, why don't we get yeah. Dr. C? Dr. C? Do you want to ask this man some questions? Him to ask if he's come on in, Oh, Dr. 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 C's on actually call. on a work call. Yeah. <laughs> this late, it's like midnight. Surgery as we're doing this for real. Mm -hmm. What are you doing on a work call at midnight, dude? Because he works in different countries, I think. Oh, yeah, wait. See how his voice oh. changes when he talks on the phone? He's like being yes, all... Now he's yeah, totally. Doctor totally. Doctor totally. Doctor this is my doctor voice. Do you remember talking to him before, Ronathan? I'm, I'm sure I've heard this douchebag in here before. Oh. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. Is the battery I love how he says... Dr. Blackman is. I think that was I his mother just calling to remind him that she's so disappointed in him. <laughs> That's he why he's doing this series. Hello? Hall. Anyone think this guy sounds like Principal Skinner? He was on the phone. He was like, yes, mother. Where did... That's what he <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> Doctor, where did you, you matriculate? You just made a joke and then laughed at us? Yes. Where absolutely, because it was funny. Right, bad. Bad taste. Mm. Uh, got, I've got to tell you, though, in all seriousness, I would cut down on whatever you're smoking. Really? Because it doesn't sound great. Okay. You're smoking and, cocks. Yeah, I only smoke cocks. I don't that smoke. Doesn't make you spit I mean, I, up brown liquid on your pillowcases, my friend. Well, I don't. Ew. I don't smoke cigarettes if that's what you're implying, because that's gross. Uh, that's not what I'm Where implying. That's actually what I'm saying. You absolutely do. No, I don't. I don't smoke he cigarettes. He absolutely doesn't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Where did you? Well, you don't know him. You said. I know. I never so said then shut up. him. Oh, now he's getting he's angry. Me? Listen to him getting all angry. Yeah. Well, she says you don't. How does she know you? No, she don't. We don't know I each other at all. I didn't know him. I said Please. I didn't well, know him. Well, there you go. People, douchebag. I can tell Where because of his voice. You can tell for no hey, reason. Hey, I can tell from your voice that you're fat and you masturbate a lot. But you know, I wasn't going to say that. Where did you matriculate? Well, we all masturbate a lot. That's why you're on the talk them. line. Can you please answer the question from the young lady there? I don't know what she said. No. Where did you matriculate? Where did I matriculate? You're trying to sound intelligent. You mean, where did I go? He doesn't school? know what that I word means. He's googling that word right now. He can to tell. NYU. He's just you delaying. He's just delaying the answer. You went to NYU. I just said it. Okay. The last time you did. My residency did, can I, John Hopkins. You want anything else? Bullshit. That's just the only your place you've heard. Your first last name of. phone number. Okay. I, get your phone I have number, a question. Did questions. you get permission to do your last pap smear, or did the police get called? Police. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. There did we go. Did you say you went to John Hopkins? Uh huh. Yeah, of course he did. Oh, your parents must be so proud of you being in the manhole. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So, you guys don't work? This is work. This is what we do. I get, I get, I get paid for, for this. So clearly, your parents are much more proud. Yes, they're dead. Mine are. Okay. <laughs> they had a shitty doctor. <laughs> My dad had some heart night. surgery at NYU he and he died. I swear. <laughs> some gay cardiologist guy. <laughs> the gay cardiologist. <laughs> That'd be a great TV show, The Gay Cardiologist. I'd go see that. Yeah, that actually sounds like a good TV show, actually. Oh, the, the Gay Cardiologist. If so it was like a song and dance kind of thing. He'll steal is your he heart twice. I think he is. Fake doctor, are you still there? Fake doctor. Still here. Thank you. You didn't kill do yourself you or anything, York? did you? No. Wait. You do not live in New York? Where do you live in Baltimore? No, I don't live no, in just Baltimore. No, just because he studied there doesn't mean you live in there. 
Where do you live? What's what state? I don't think he knows where Johns Hopkins actually is. That's, that's the thing. Hopkins. That's why. That's why he laughed at that question because he doesn't what actually know where it is. In? I have no idea. Come on, we're not going to track you down state just from confusion. the state, are we? Yeah. State, <laughs> state penitentiary. What state yeah, do you live in? So don't worry. Who's worried? Not worried. I'm Does anyone sound question. worried on here? You sound very East Coast, so at least you grew up on the East Coast. Wow. How did you figure that out? What I don't know. I do you in live in? Midwest, but you stronger? think I sound like a Kardashian, so. Yeah, guys, I don't understand what you're saying when all of you are talking. What state do you live in? Oh, there you he goes. He ran away. Has ended. Oh, you will now hear me. Well, we won. We won. We won. We made him run away. What a fucking dickhead. Well, there were like six of us. So. Can you imagine like showing off in the manhole? I'm a doctor. <laughs> he did. He started like, saying that to Scooby like, right away. He was like, you're like you're dogs. poor. That's you live in a poor yeah. place. And he's like, I'm from New Jersey. He goes, oh, I could have figured that. Uh. And he goes, do you, do you make your living delivering food to people? Yeah. Yeah. It was being a super douche. What if you yeah, I miss all that. What I if you, fucking kick. What if, what, if you, yeah. what if you do make a living delivering food? At least you're making a living. It's an honest living. Yeah, yeah there's not. Because he's a thoracic surgeon. Don't disrespect people that. Like a FedEx driver or something. He's a piece of shit. Fucking dick. No, he don't tip. Don't disrespect people that deliver food for a living. What do you. Don't just disrespect anybody. And then he's yeah. acting like the Kardashians have no money compared to him. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Stop turning on your Kardashian voice. <laughs> was he was he calling you a Kardashian, Karma? Both of us. Both of you. Unbelievable. I think he just says that to every female that comes on the line. He's like, eh, Kardashian, eh, Kardashian. He thought we were like using fake Kardashian voices. Yeah, or like he had a machine or some sort of sound yeah. changer. Oh, the fuck? What a fucking dickhead. He doesn't uh, talk to enough humans or women to know what they actually sound like. Let's get out of here. CeeLo did a super chat. Not many people are going to macronshow.com forward slash tip tonight. Why do you think they hate me, guys? What have I done? It should be Cyber Tip Monday. It's Cyber Tip Monday. Like, come on, you guys. God. God, God guys. Uh, we have a complaint about Royal Caribbean here. You also had another Dyson complaint. I know, but that's... No, I know, but no, no, the Royal Caribbean, that's a UK one, don't talk. Okay. Oh, it's a UK one? Oh, fuck, okay. Do the other Dyson <laughs> ones. Dyson's are fun. Penny, uh, it's not the US. Did you read it? The three us bags in the sea. What? Hold on. What? Three cases of luggage were dumped in the ocean by Royal Caribbean. Oh, I'd love to call that person. Oh, man, that no, 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 we can't. I wonder what the story is there. Why do you think they dumped his suitcases in the ocean? I want to know more. Like, I really want to know. Like, he he, he's he's implying that it was deliberate, which I refuse to believe. But then again, I don't know. Were his bags too heavy and the boat enough. the boat was sinking? Do we have his number? I can call. It'll just cost me a lot of money, and everyone will have to go to macronshow.com for such tip to re leave it with. We do a few more complainers. I'll do a bit of face. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm in Canada right now, so I can call UK people. Technically, I think I can get away with it. Let's uh, let's do Canada right now. Uh, allegedly, yeah. I'm either in Canada, Canada right now. <gasps> you are. You can tell I'm in Canada right now because when I come back from having a smoke, my nipples are all hard. <laughs> it's like it's like minus two out there right now. I was actually saying this to someone the other night, right? It's the first time I've been in Canada in the winter, and do you know what I'm kind of struggling with? is the fact that wherever you go, everyone's got the heating cranked up, right? So the other day I went into the city, right? And it was like, I don't know, like minus two outside or whatever. So I put on my big thermal jacket and my woolly hat and everything, got all wrapped up warm. And I got in an Uber to go into the city. And this fucking banchode's got the heating cranked up on full in the Uber. And he's sitting there with a t-shirt and shorts on. And I'm not kidding. So like, can you imagine? I get in this Uber with this thermal jacket on. And like, I'm like two minutes into the ride, I'm sweating. I'm having to take my jacket off and like ask if I can crank the window. And then... Like, you get out the Uber and it's freezing again. It's like it hits you really quick. It's like minus two again, so you got to get wrapped up warm. And then you go to wherever you're going and it's red hot again because, like, everyone has the heating cranked up all the time here. And it's kind of, it's it's weird. It's harder to get used to. Okay, how come you never told me that it's damp and freezing cold here in Ireland or in the UK, whatever, when it's you, not no. all that hot outside? It's not all that cold outside. You were warm. inside it's so cold. Uh, that's because oh, no. that's because we tend to not 
crank the heating up so much like we kind of yeah we because it doesn't get like that it doesn't get super super cold and so it's like you you really can't oh i just got an alert on my phone saying it's about to snow as well yay um don't you have those nice irish sweaters you can put on <laughs> no, nah, I've been wearing a hoodie. So no, but I'm I'm sure Ray will back me up on this because my family's half Irish and and the rest are from like the north of England. And Ray will back me up on this. Ray, Ray, when it got cold, did your parents not tell you to like put some socks and a sweater on? Yeah, Ex- yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> like yeah, the heating here is really bad. They've got like a fire going in one room, so uh-huh. it's nice. But yeah. the rest of the house is freezing. Yeah, that tends to be how it is in the whole of the UK. Like. um yeah. Like people will maybe have a fire in the living room and then have the heating on really low or even off in the rest of the house. Um, yeah. Just it just to save money. And then if you if you go around the rest of the house, like my my dad used to say, like, you know, put a sweater on, put some socks on or fucking move around a bit more. Dr. Charles is the same. I've been to his house. He's got his kids all fucking wrapped up in scarves and stuff. He's yeah, like, I'm not turning the heating on. But isn't it really <laughs> expensive to heat there, too? Yes, it is. The, the, there's the, like the a heat- radiator here, but it's never on. The, the heating bills are like crazy expensive, and it, it's it's kind of always been that way. So, like, yeah, we we just like, yeah, about eight eight dollars an hour US to if you want to crank the heating up, which is insane. Yeah. Um, so we just hundred dollars a, a week I'm paying at the moment. Yeah, it's crazy. So like Belfast is dollars a week. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's about right. That's about what I pay. So it's I pay about ten pounds a day when I have the heating on. Um. So I, maybe about today's 70. rather cold. I use twelve pound today. Well, what's happening about dollars? About fourteen dollars. Yeah, you see, but whereas whereas here, like already at this time of year, it's it's like minus one, minus two outside all the time, and everywhere I go, everyone just has the heating on. Just the houses are just super warm. But what I can't get used to is like in the UK, like if you go out and you're cold and you put a jacket on, you come home, the house is usually cold when you get home, and if it's really cold, maybe you'll have the heating on for half an hour, just a little bit to warm up. But like here, everyone just blasts the heating all the time, and Do especially you think it's too hot in here. No, no, it's not too hot in here, but it's um, it's just you just have to acclimatize to it, I guess. It's just kind of yes. a different, you know, it's a whole different thing. That's the thing. We're not used to it. We're not, we're not used, you know, like, yeah, we're not used to it consistently being below zero. Like, you see, UK you... UK wimps. Usually it'll, it'll, you know, when it gets to zero, you would consider that a very cold day, right, in the UK? Usually. And, you know, like in, in January, February at night, it might get to minus one, minus two. Whereas like here, it's consistently like minus something all the time. So there's a good reason why the heating has to be on. And, um, and then in the, the UK, the slightest wee tiny bit of snow or ice, the trains stop, the buses stop. There's carnage on the motorways. In Canada, they get six foot of snow and it's just business as usual. Well, we don't, nobody has snow tires in the UK. Nobody puts snow tires on, not really, or like chains or anything like that. Whereas here, everyone's prepared for it. Everyone's got snow tires and and the vehicles are designed for it. And yeah, it's just very different. I know, but you know, I noticed back home, like one, one millimeter of snow and the whole country comes to a standstill. So you can see why me and Karma are having this problem. Karma's having a problem with it being too cold inside and I'm having a problem with it being too warm inside, basically. Yeah, it's different. It's, it's like more the... like it's damp than anything else. Like humid damp everything feels like it's a little wet and it's not it is yeah no i get that i get that i bet like when you go outside in the morning it's all misty right yeah all oh yeah. yeah 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 i put yeah. my glasses on like like just to sit up in bed mm-hmm. and like they fog up yes mm-hmm. yeah totally yeah that's private that's private that's but that's private. Let my glasses that. fog up they fog okay. they fog up they, heat. they fog up when ray struts into the room shirtless like hey baby right. and then her glasses <laughs> just right. steam up immediately that's, yeah, that's right. what happens that's what happens they shatter into a million pieces <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you go um all right let's do this call anyway uh this person wants to send back their dyson air wrap what is an air wrap can anyone tell me please i have no idea what that is i'm gonna have to google it aren't i uh dyson air wrap Dyson, Black Friday sale, $150 off the air app. Oh, it's a hair curler or straightener or something. It's one of those things that women put on their hair and do a thing. I wouldn't know because I'm not a woman and I don't have any hair either, so I'm shit out of luck there. 
six hundred and fifty dollars, and that's the black f that's the Black Friday sale price. Holy shit! So I guess it's like a, a hair dryer like slash diffuser. So, uh, what what the, I've seen them. What do they do differently from maybe an Argus nine eighty nine? Six hundred and fifty well, bucks, this? though. I mean, is it really that good? It just blows hot air and dries your hair. No, apparently it like it blows hot air, but it also takes the moisture out. So it takes like if you're straightening your hair, it takes all the frizz out and makes it really silky, smooth, like a Kardashian. Right. Okay. Ugh. Uh, all right then. Anyway, this late. Well, this lady's bitching because she says she wants to send hers back. Should we find out why together? Let's see. She wants a label to send it back. Worst. I think it's because she had bad customer service, though. I don't think it's anything to do with the product. Let's ask her questions about it anyway. Maybe she can explain. Jack would know. Jack's, Jack's got all Dyson products. She loves them. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three. Uh, after all that build-up, she's not going to talk about it. She will answer. There's a full moon tonight. Did you did you check that lady's Twitter that I left the message for? Oh, I forgot about that one. The one where I had, it was for budget, and I advised her to consult a local man for more information about windshields. Hello. Hi there, ma'am. Ron calling from Dyson. How are you doing? Hello. Good, and you? I'm great, thank you. Reason for the call is I understand you reached out to our social media team with a complaint. Yes. Um, what happened? So we've been trying to return to Dyson since November 14th. They told us that they would review it, and then they would send over a label okay. in 48 hours. It's obviously past the 14th, 15th, 16th, and the, almost the end of the month. Mm -hmm. We've called in, sat on the line for an hour. A woman said, hey, I just sent it over to you guys. We never got it. I okay. call in today. I uh, sit online for an hour and like 15 minutes to be disconnected and then connected to the survey immediately. So I sat there an hour to go ahead and call. So now that's two and a half hours that we have wasted on the phone without any results. Hmm. And so that is why I reached out to the Twitter team because it just doesn't make any sense why we haven't gotten emailed the label to send it back. No, of course. And this is like a, a what, a $600 tool? Um, it yeah. depends so when we you bought just, it. It's, we we um... just want to return it. It's usually about eight hundred, but if you bought it during the sale, it's probably about six fifty. What was the reason you wanted to well, return we got it? it? It doesn't work for me. I'm a, a black woman, and uh, it doesn't curl my hair like it says. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. But we actually bought two of them because we have a daughter as well. She loves hers. She enjoys hers. It works for her. She's a uh, non-black, which is absolutely fine, and we love it for her. So we had two. She kept hers, she loves hers, and we just want to send mine back. Gosh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just reading the notes, and it, yeah, it looks like that's why they haven't accepted the return. Um, you being a, a lady of color is not a, a reason to return the product. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work on my well, it, hair. It, it does do, work. It doesn't curl my hair. But it works on your daughter's hair, so it I does work. It. I mean, it's your hair that's, no, no, no. It's it, your hair that doesn't work, essentially. But the product works. Well, I need the product to work for me, correct? Well, yeah. And that's but why the, you buy a product. The you need it to work for yourself. And right. the product did not work for me, sir. And I bought the product to work for me. No, we I have two. So we I, have two $800 uh, hair ex uh, things. So that's sure. like $1,600 worth right. of Dyson that we have here. And it just doesn't work for me. We're going to keep the other one. But we do not want this one. Right, but you do understand if it's not faulty, we. But if it's not faulty, we don't. We we can't return it. You understand that? It doesn't work at all whatsoever for me but it, at all. But it does so work. The, everything that it says in the book to do for yeah. me, it doesn't work. So that product doesn't work, and we would like to return it. Okay, and can I ask what what is the problem with your hair exactly? Is it is it too matted? Is it too greasy? Is it what's what's the problem? It doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't curl the hair. It doesn't do what the online tutorial says it will do for your hair. Mm. It doesn't do anything to my hair at all. And yet, when your daughter uses it, it works fine. She's white. She's a, a white girl. She's a young white lady. 
Right, but I mean, I don't know why you're making this a racial issue. I'm saying the product either works or it doesn't. And if it works on your daughter, then it, it works. It doesn't. I mean, it you're, doesn't work. You're essentially accusing the, the product of being racist. Is that right? No, I'm you're essentially saying, saying that it doesn't work. But it does for work. Me. But it does and work. I purchased it for myself. Right, but it does and work. It doesn't work, sir. Can it, I speak to manager? Can I speak to a manager, sir? Yes, absolutely. Um, are you okay to hold Thanks for so one much. minute while I do that? Yes. Okay, bear with me. I'll let you talk to my husband. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'll talk to your husband. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. <clears throat> your husband's called Gay Paul. Did hey, I get... Paul. Gay Paul. Sir. Huh? Hold on. This call is being recorded too. This call is being recorded. I just want to let you know that. Okay. Just so you know. That's, so, what did you just say about my husband? You said, I'm sorry, I was just clarifying, you said you, you wanted me to speak to your husband and then you said his name was Gay Paul, is that right? Hey Paul! Okay. Hey Paul, come come talk to this uh, Dyson guy, he seems to have an issue. This uh, this Dyson guy seems to have an issue, a big issue. I don't have an issue, like, I don't have an issue he's at all. talking to me like he has a huge issue, I just asked to talk to management. I don't have an issue at and, all, I don't have any issue whatsoever. And I said, hey whatsoever. Paul, and he said your husband's name is Gay Paul. So I think he, yeah, exactly. You want to talk to this guy, Paul? Tell him it don't work. Hello, sir. Hello there. How can I help? Um, so uh, there's a bit of an echo here for some reason. But I uh, wanted to, re I can hear myself echoing back. I don't know quite why that is. Hmm. That's strange. Um, uh, that's not been a problem before. Uh, uh, anyway, so uh, we, we bought a... It's just very annoying. This, this we're, we're hearing myself. Um, a, a Dyson product, and about two oh, that's ago, that's because your wife is re your email. wife's recording the call. And we your didn't wife's, get a response sir, after sir, the email, sir. The the echo is caused by your wife recording the call. You may want to tell her to turn her recorder off. You recording the call? No, we should because it's calling you gay porn. No. She no, just, we're not she just the said call. she was. I have a, I, I'm recording the call at my end, and your wife said this call is being recorded, just so you know. She said it twice. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. What is your name? My name is Ronathan. Ronathan? Yes, sir. And what's your last name? Uh, Johnson. Ronathan Johnson. Um, this has been a very ex annoying experience with Dyson. Okay, okay. Now, I, I, I can see that your wife can get fr quite frustrating, but how is it that we can help? We've been waiting for two weeks for a label to return the product to you. Right, but as, as I just explained to your wife, we, we haven't sent the label because we're not able to return the product if it isn't faulty. That was never explained to me. There was an agreement that you would return it on the last call that I had. No, we, I, I don't see any agreement here to return the product. Your wife has just said the product works perfectly. It just doesn't work for her. That's not a reason to return this is a product. A bizarre conversation. What is bizarre about this? this the, is product, a bizarre the product isn't faulty, and therefore we can't that is return not what it. What is written on your website? Please put your supervisor on now. Okay, I mean, there's there's no need to not get. Not what's a, written on your website. What does it say on the website, sir? You you tell me what it says. It said that you accept returns within 60 days, yes. period, end of story, No, nothing about it being faulty or whatever. That would be separate. We accept Please returns for faulty now. products. The product isn't faulty. Put and... your supervisor on now. This is being recorded, and I'm asking... So now it is being recorded again. So on one now. minute it's not being recorded, and the next minute it is. That's interesting. <sighs> you just said that you were recording on your end. Yes. Please put your supervisor on now. Why are you yelling at me? Do you think that's going to get you anywhere? Because you are not making any sense. I am making perfect sense. We will return the product if the product is faulty. Your product is not faulty, and therefore we won't return it. If you can't understand that, I maybe get some... Let me finish, young man. Let me finish my sentence. How dare you talk over me? How dare you? How dare you talk over me? I have made perfect sense. You're just not happy because you're not getting what you want, like a petulant little child. It is not my fault that your wow. nappy-headed wife doesn't know how to wow. use our product.
Wow. Anything else? <laughs> no, supervisor, right now. No, actually, you don't get to call the shots here, buddy. You might get to yell at your stupid wife like that, but that doesn't work with me, okay? Now, maybe try using your some name manners. Is Jonathan, what is it again? Let My me name... write it down. Okay, good. You write this down. Do you need some help with that as well? I know you have a lot of problems with logic. Go ahead. Go ahead what? Right. Tell me what your name is so I can write it I down. can't write it down for you, sir. If I write it down for you, you won't be able to see it. I want you to spell it out, please. Look, we're not here for spelling lessons. If you don't know how to spell, spell the word... Spell out your name to me now. I don't take orders from you, you twat. <laughs> oh, my God. What's your name? <sighs> Hello? Do you see how that works? Do you see how I didn't do what you said? You might used to can be... You give me your name, please. No, I can't be bothered. I've given it to you three times already. If you're too stupid to remember it, I, I'm, not, I'm not obliged to repeat myself for the likes of you. Do you see who's in charge here? Because it's not you, okay? So all your little yelling and your fruity little demands are getting you absolutely nowhere. I can hear your balls shrinking as we speak. Why don't you go put them back in your wife's purse and fuck off? Can I read out to you what your uh, rip term policy says? If you want, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to play a game on my phone while you do that. Go ahead. Okay. Let, let, no, go on, read it out, read it out. Come on, you know, you've got to show off in front of your little wife there. So go ahead. Purchases made between November 1st and December 25th can be returned. And they will pay for return shipping. Period, end of story. Nothing about problems. Okay? So who's the little twat now? Yes, you're the little twat. He is. I'm sorry, RuPaul. Are you done there? Are we finished there, little man? Sorry? I said, are you finished there, little man? Um, no, but I'm definitely now. We're going to be returning it to Dyson Management. Ooh. So I think you should... Ooh. Oh, no. By the time we hang up oh. here. Would you like to speak to a supervisor? I, I can get you a supervisor if you'd like. To get you fired? Absolutely. Put him on right now. Oh, you're going to get me fired. Oh, is that, going to, is that going to make your dick get hard tonight when you're in bed if you do that? Because otherwise I think you're going to have a big problem. Yeah, by the way, you know, I've got a 17-year-old son listening to this. Oh, this God. Is he a little cuckolded wanker like you as well? God, he sounds like a dick as well. how people are laughing now. yes no I, laughing. I i'd i'd laugh as well if i'd just been humiliated in front of my whole family you've got to cope somehow haven't you little man get, get the supervisor up there i'll do it in my own time actually give me a minute just gotta send a text what? first this is going to go great when it goes viral Mm hmm Goes viral like your wife's vagina. I'm just sending a text and then I'll get on it, okay? Actually, I just got to check the weather for tomorrow as well. Let me see. Oh, yikes. All right. Let me get you the supervisor, okay? Just bear with me a minute, madam. I mean, sir. Your call is very important to us. Please hold.
You're true here at the Brian Supervisors Department. Who is this? This is Brian. With what? Supervisors Department. How can I help you? Of what company? I'm sorry, Dyson, of course. Do you not know who you're calling? You called us. Uh, I can assure you that you called us and uh, my phone picked up here. Now, uh, is there some problem here? Uh, is there anything I can assist you with? No, he hung up. He hung up the little oh, thing. <laughs> I thought that was actually going to be karma doing it. I thought I thought like a female might be better. Yeah, but... Sorry, it's on my phone. All right. Oh, all right. You're letting him use your phone. Oh, no. Well, we're looking at one. Let me uh, let me call him back. Holy ah, shit! Take your finger out of my butthole. What? Did he... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> what? Wrong hole. Wrong. Oh my god! I didn't realize it was gonna be Ray. <laughs> it's no wonder he hung up. <laughs> he just knew. He's like, I'm gonna call him back. Hello? Hi there, ma'am. It's uh, Ronathan calling back from Dyson. I yeah. saw that the yeah, call Ronathan, got... Tell Terry to have you stop calling me. Thank you. Bye. Uh, who? Excuse me? Terry. Yeah, she thinks it's, she thinks it's someone Terry. she knows now. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, my Hi, God. what's going on? <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes. Hi, ma'am. Um, how'd you get my number? I didn't give Dyson my number, and I didn't order through this way. So how'd you get my number, sir? It was provided, it was provided to me by our social media team. I, I, they obtained yeah, the numbers. My number's not online, sir. Well, how did I get it, then? I don't know. I think that somebody had you call and prank me because they saw my complaint online, mm. and I think that it's very disgusting that you're wasting your time with it. Mm. Wasting my time yeah. or your time? No, I know exactly who had you do it, too. <laughs> somebody so called Terry, apparently. You. Thank you. Okay. You said what? You said it was yeah, somebody who, called I know, Terry. I know who did it. You're not you too, have a good uh, day, because I already know who it is. You're not the sharpest knife on the Enjoy drawer, are you? Night. All you right. wouldn't get my number anyhow, anyway, Of offline. course. Yeah, Enjoy of course I wouldn't. Okay. Tell her, tell her when she asks. I know who did it. Thank you. Enjoy your nappy hair. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. Ooh. Bye. Boo. I've got Terry here. Do you want to speak to Terry? Do you want to call back as Terry Scovey? <laughs> yeah. She said it's a she. She said Terry. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. She thinks it's a girl. Hazel, you talk. Hazel, you say that you're Terry. 
So if she believes it. You won't answer. Hi. Hello. Hello. You gonna talk? Tell that bitch she got it coming. Bye. <laughs> that bitch has got it coming now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling her and see if we get more threats. She's gonna. She's, she's gonna go full on like hood in a minute. Get ready. Your call has been Ah, forwarded. no, she's not. Ah, 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 no. And the you, you had that dickhead husband in the background googling the number. He was like, "Wait a minute, eight four four Your call has been forwarded. God, no, Terry's in a lot of trouble. That bitch has got it coming. <laughs> we just. Did you phone from Dyson's number too? Oh yeah, <laughs> allegedly. Anyway. Allegedly. Yeah, right. Um. Right, we're going to do this Nike one. The one after that is from one of the companies we're not allowed to call Belfast. I just remembered as well. Oh, shit. Same lawyer. <laughs> same law, for them, same, for same law firm. Same law firm. So we can't call that uh, company. Okay, enough. Yep. Nah, I forgot about that. It's a party, too. I know, right? But, uh... Say la vie. Okay. All right. Nike. I've had to get used to saying Nike and not Nike anymore. Now that I'm in Canada. Nike. Nike. So irritated with Nike right now. Okay, it sounds like a really stupid problem. I'm going to make him explain it, though. I can't bother to read it out. You better pick up. Thank you for calling the Clever Factory. Please listen closely as our menu options have changed. If you know the extension of the person you are trying to reach, you may enter it at any time. For information on Clever Factory products, press 1. For sales, press 2. What? For accounting, press 3. I'm just going to ask them if this guy works here. Yeah. Record your message and press pound, or... No. We're just going to move on, then. I wonder which kind of hair it was that she was trying to curl. Ooh. Matt, we all know the Bears are not fucking winning tonight. Let's be real. Yeah, the Bears aren't going to win tonight. No way. I have no further comment, though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Scoby, do we have your pick of the week? Have we done that yet? I'm drawing it up right now as we speak, sir. Okay, I have to I have to use different music because last time I got a copyright strike for your for your fucking. Are you fucking kidding me? No, it's unbelievable. You can't even play like I googled like generic newsroom sound and yeah, copyright strike. Like it it fucking sucks so much. I think it's like seven seconds and you're done. Yeah, but like it it even came from a uh, a link that was like copyright free news desk music or whatever like oh, that. Oh so, Jesus! Yeah, you just you kicks, can't win. Dude. You just can't win. Well, the problem is that stuff. I tried looking up ways to get past it. And you just can't. Companies are claiming copyright down. on things that have been copyright free for years. That's the problem. They're, they're doing it left and right. It's a huge problem for YouTubers. That's why people have got videos from like nine years ago that are suddenly getting copyright strikes. It's insane. Is this the Nike one? Yeah. Uh, no, this is the Spectrum one. The Nike one is like a business number. <laughs> the first call number one. If there's no answer, give another shirt. <laughs> The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Please try again later. 
El cliente de servicio móvil al que oh, llamamos no, se encuentra de... It was the French. I'm going to keep calling. No, the Nike one was a business number, that's why. Damn it. Not enough people have gone to macronshow.com forward slash tip and now they're not picking up, guys. What do I do? I'm sorry. Let me just say this one thing. Uh, Matt. Sorry, Ron. Go Matt ahead. Matt Cousins has been hurt. He tore his ACL like six weeks ago. So, no, he's not playing. Dobbs is playing. And he's been kicking fucking ass. He's going to kick y'all's ass tonight. Y'all playing for fucking top three picks so you can get rid of fucking fields. Let's be real. But let me let me just stop and I'll, I'm putting together the last little pieces of this fucking pick. Where's DS at? Is he here? DS, are you here? Oh, DS has no internet. No, DS has DS's internet died or something. Play the old Be Right Back music. Give Heather a phone. You want me to give Heather a quick try? Yeah, we haven't really called any regulars because the complainers have been so Rainbow. crazy. Yeah, let's let's give Heather a quick call. We'll also try that redneck uh, that thinks Black Lives Matter a terrorist. Did you see if that woman uh, tweeted about me? The one I left your a message for? Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're... Oh, Heather. I think she's changed her number, but have a check your DMs. Or your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Give Deborah a call about about Joe Biden too. Your call has been forwarded to an automated uh, voice message. Deborah, come on. We need to talk about Joe Biden some more. Come on. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. Damn it, Deborah. Let's, let's try that prick in. What's his name again? I've forgotten his name. Uh, Darren, there he is. Darren. Come on, Darren. Right under Deborah. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Oh, he always has do not disturb as well. Jerk. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine eight five six three four zero eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to give out that racist guy's number just yet. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Oh, come on, buddy. Why is he so scared to talk? This guy was all over it online. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. No, it's not, it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. 
I want to give Jeffrey a quick call. I don't want to talk to Jeffrey, see how he's doing. Log's in here. How you doing, Log? How you doing, buddy? You want to talk to Jeff, Log? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll talk to Jeff. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. where is... Okay, so we've got the 800 number for Jeff, but there's another number as well that I... I might have to get it off my phone. I can't believe he sat on the way at 100. El número al que ha llamado ha sido cancelado. What the hell? What the fuck? Uh -huh. That was so hot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where's his other... Let me just... Bear with me a second. Let me go into my texting app and pull it out of there. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Scoby, do you have your pick yet? Have you worked it out? You can give your pick while I, I pull it. Can okay. I do it now, please? You can, absolutely. Bear with me. Let me find some other copyright-free music. Hold on. Let's see if this will work. While you're waiting, play Jeff's survey there. It's in the show chat. This one says it's definitely royalty-free, so go, go and do ahead and do your pick, Scoby. Go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Time you've all been waiting for. Scobie's pick of the week. Minnesota Vikings, minus three. That means the Vikings will win by at least three points, and they will. We're going to combine that with the team total under Chicago Bears, under 28 and a half. That means the Bears will not score 29 points. Last parlay pick, Minnesota Vikings, under 32 and a half. Minnesota will not score 33 points. Let's recap. Three picks. Minnesota Vikings. By three points or more. Minus three. Combine that. Chicago Bears team. Total points under 28 and a half. And last but not least. Minnesota Vikings under 32 and a half. Combine all that. Get your plus 140. It's a winner. And you're going to send that fucking money to us. You understand me? <laughs> He's getting aggressive with it now. I like his scope. You Scobie. fucking understand me. Um, yeah, listen, if you guys win any money using Scobie's picks and you don't send 90% of the money to us, um, basically Tommy Wright has to come over and collect. Is that correct, Scobie? Tommy Wright will come collect that money. All right, I found Jeff's new number. Who's ready for Jeff? Log, you talk to Jeff. We're keeping fucking tabs. Yeah, we're watching you. Go with Scobie's pick, guys. How Were you right on the last one? I can't remember what the last one was now. Uh, debatable. Uh, continue on, Ron. <laughs> By debatable, I'm assuming that means no. All right, this should be just number. Is it gonna work? What? 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 Hold on, it's not dialing. Why is it not dialing? I'm typing it wrong, am I? What? What the sh- what the shit? Hmm... He doesn't want to call his new number. Maybe it's a fake number. Maybe he's just got a text number. Phone is a weird hundred number. Yeah, that's what got me that weird, like, Spanish message. I'm just trying his old number to see if it even, like... Oh, we made a wrong with crap. He may have run out of credit. So the number I've got for him is this one. I'm just typing in chat like that number should work, but um. But the the, the eight hundred number he may have run out of credit on for a specific reason. Huh. So he's all out. Hmm. Yeah. Should every time somebody phones him, it charges him. Oh, it's expensive over in Canada. Canada, eh? Let me try, um... I was trying another way to do it. I mean, people miss Jeff. They want him on the show, you know. What's happening is not many people are picking up. No, it won't fucking dial it. Like, it's rejecting the call. It must be some weird-ass fucking text number that he's got. 
It's probably one of them. Unless it doesn't like me calling from the spectrum number, that might be a problem. Hold on. Nope. I'll call him from his old number and see if that makes a difference. It's the spectrum. Cool. Yeah, that's probably it. No, no, it doesn't work. It mm. just says rejected, which is weird. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh well. Uh, let's try. Let's try and get another complainer. Really mad, but yeah, you see what happened, guys. No one's picking up because you guys haven't gone to macronshow.com forward slash tip. Terrible. If Ronnie was here, he would say terrible. Thank you for calling our telephone meeting. If you are the moderator, you are currently the only person in this con. See what I mean, guys? You, if you, if you'd all go donate, this wouldn't be happening. But wah, wah, wah. you see, thank you for coming. If you, you are currently the only see? person in this conference. See, both conferences, no one in there, cause of you guys. You see what you did? Are you happy now? Are you happy? Don't, don't break anything. Just, just don't break anything. You want me to play the Jeff survey? What was this? <laughs> Hello? Fuck it, man. I'll fucking kill you. What? Hello? What? Talk. Yes, is this Mr. O'Neill? Who the fuck are you, you fucking hellbilly? Oh, hey, this is Dale. Uh, I yeah, wanted to have a word Dale. with you if I could, sir. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. It cut out. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Fuck it, man. I'll fucking kill you. What? Hello? I'll fucking what? kill you. Talk. Yes, is this Mr. O'Neill? Who the fuck are you, you fucking hellbilly? Oh, hey, this is Dale. Uh, I Dale, wanted to have a word Dale, with you if I could, Kentucky. sir. Hey, Dale, you're a fucking homo, okay? Dale from Kentucky, you had no business calling me. You don't know me, and I'd fucking kill you just for fun and entertainment. Oh, hey, Dale. well, I've, I've oh. got three questions, oh. please. Oh, what? Go fuck yourself. You fucking useless fucking dim lit fucking hillbillies. <laughs> well, I'm doing the do I'm doing the required oh, survey, you sir. Fucking retard? You you had the service and then you had the one star complaint, and so I'm doing the three question survey. Shut up, you fucking retard. <laughs> well, look, the first question of the survey is, how many responses are negative? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, Buckfast really wants me to call Anita Cox. Has she picked up before? Anita Cox. Yeah, when you were very, very drunk and off and stoned. And... Oh, really? <laughs> was, I, yeah. was I fucking out of it when I called her? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. You need to apologize to her. Why, why was I really awful to her? I remember, but she needs a cox. <laughs> she, she's not picking up now. She's like, fuck this. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automated voicemail. Oh, she's had enough. I try and get one more complainer in here. <gasps> you make all the complainers in. Well, how many have the complainers in there? Coco Loco did a tip. Finally, he said, tried smashing the tip in, but you're too tight. Uh, Thanks, yeah. Coco. What a guy. See, that's how you do it, guys. That's how you show the love. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try and get another, another Hertz complainer. I'll tap one if it's charged right number. Uh, oh, yeah, the top one should work. Okay, okay. Hello? Hello? Hi, there's uh, Ronathan Hi. calling from the corporate liaison team at Hertz. How are you doing? 
I'm real good, thank you. Reason for the call is I was actually passed over a, a complaint that I think came via my social media team. Uh, do you have a moment to speak about that? Yes. Um, so what what happened? What was the problem? So how did you get my number then, if it came through the social media team? Well, the social media team obtained your number and just passed it over to us here at corporate. How'd they obtain my number? Um, but it's probably associated with your Twitter account by the looks of it. It's not. Well, uh, th that's the only way they would have got it. Or it seems like you're just saying me. Sorry, I beg your pardon? You were breaking up there. Or it seems like you're just spam calling me. But you're welcome to check the number I'm calling from, sir. But if you're not happy to proceed, I can just mark this as resolved. It's no problem. I mean... Great. Can, I'll can, go can, ahead and... Can you tell me... That, no, I'm going to mark this that, as resolved. Well, Thank you for using Hertz and have a great day. Bye-bye. There we go, fucking dickhead. I'm not putting uh, up with that uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Keep an eye on his Twitter because he's going to check the number to see if it's real now. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> That's what you go for being egg. a fucking suspicious little prick. Yeah, you could tell it wasn't yeah, going to go anyway. It was my fault, though. Oh, fuck him. I phoned him at 3 a.m. at a bay of the All right, well, fuck him. Keep an eye on his Twitter for me, though, Belfast. If you look at your inbound numbers, he's been phoning you back all day. Oh, is that him? Okay. I think it is, eh? Hello? 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 Oscar? Hello? Have you fallen and you can't get up? No, all right, whatever. Fucking pray. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in there. Okay. Yeah, keep an eye on his Twitter for a minute, Belfast, because see if he tweets about it. <laughs> what a dickhead. He's like, oh no, another British scammer calling. Mm. Are you phoning from your. Uh... No, I'm call I was calling from the real, the real number. The Hertz number. <laughs> so like he's gonna he's gonna check the number now and he's gonna feel really fucking stupid. My mobile died there, but I got an abusive message. Were you cheeky to one of your inbound calls earlier? Uh there were some inbound calls coming on. Yeah, why what are they saying about me? They were giving off about your abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Who was oh, I'm oh, trying oh. to Roger so I can screenshot it to you. Send me the number of um Hey Hazel, actually, before I get out of here, would you like to would you like me to call little Miss Pilates for you? Do you mind if I fuck with her? Oh no, did Hazel fall? Not in the slightest, go for it. I thought you'd fallen asleep there. No. Nope. Uh, this lady, Hazel inquired about doing Pilates and now this lady's been harassing her constantly, asking like when harassing she's gonna sign up and stuff. Harassing the shit out of me. Um, okay. Uh, it must be like an MLM or something. Uh, Was there any big Ron seals? Is that her number that begins with triple eight? Is that like a local code or is that like an 800 number? That's like an That's 800 number. Oh, okay, okay. Give me a random local code that I could use. Uh, 954. So I'm gonna make it look like I'm a random person. Yeah, so this lady like, just can't get over it like she's just constantly messaging trying to get people to sign up for pilates and you were probably going to do it too until she got so obsessive about it and now you're not right i'm mean, no way would i go there mm. hello thank you for calling club Hello? 
Hello. Thank you for calling. Hmm. Hello. Thank you for calling Club Pilates Pompano Beach. We're mm, get out of here. Uh, okay. Buh, buh, buh. Let's try. I, I want to get one more complainer. Do let me know if that last guy sends any tweets. Though, first. I thought that was a UK number then, but it's not. It's just a local area code that starts with 4-4. Four, four. Busy? Busy? What is this? A landline? Hmm, busy. Hey, wait a minute. Hazel? Did you take real Hazel's pajamas off? Because I just turned around and she's naked over there. And Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach... I can't deal with it. She's naked. I did. Last time I turned around and checked, she was wearing pajamas, and now she's sitting in a different place with no pajamas on. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're... She's just laying there, spread out naked like a slut. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. You got all those nice new pajamas I said, today. I put a little number for you in the show chat. Oh, what do you got for me here? Oh, fuck. Okay, this fucking prick. Should I tell everyone what happened? It's like, should I tell sure. the whole story? This fucker, this fucker, right? The other day... I was the only one in the house, and I'm, like, busy looking after the dogs and stuff, and I was trying to have a quick shower, and I'm fucking, like, I'm, like, in the bathroom butt naked, and I hear the dogs going crazy, and we weren't expecting anyone, so I fucking got dressed and ran to the door to see what was going on, and it's this fucking asshole from this, um, fucking asphalt maintenance company, and he's like, oh, hey, we're doing some work in the area, and we noticed you have a big pothole in your driveway, do you want us to fix it? And I was like... I, I think I said something like, no, I'm just like, I, I'm just the dog sitter, so it's not really up to me anyway. And then he was like, and then he was like, well, you do know if you don't get it fixed, it's just going to get bigger. And I was like, what did I just tell you? And then he was like, yeah, but the, it'll just keep getting bigger over time. And then I said, to be honest, I'm waiting until it gets big enough to fit an entire body in, and then I'm going to cover it up. And then he left. But he was a real fucking dick. He was like teasing the dogs through the door as well, which is like really fucking stupid thing to do. Like that's prayer. I'm gonna call him up and yell at him. Ah, deal with this guy. I know, right, Hazel. I mean, I'll try. Mm, I don't think he's going to pick up at this time. I'll try one more time. Yeah, that prick. Your call has been forwarded. No, no I guess he turns it off. Asshole. All right, let's do, uh, let's do, uh, da, 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 da. kind of want to get one more complainer real bad, you know? Uh, this person says the vehicle smelled like marijuana. What's wrong with that? I'd quite like that. Was it your Uber driver? It could be my Uber driver <laughs> complaining about Wouldn't that me. be so funny, I was you? Oh, that one still says it's busy. Can you believe the dipshit left me a bad review just because I smelled like weed? Like, fuck you, dude. He smelled like a bancho. Do you know what I mean? You didn't see me bringing that up. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying... God damn it. All right.
might know that in a minute. Like, um, this person has been trying to buy an iPhone from Walmart for days and can't do it, apparently. Why wouldn't you just go to the Apple store? Why do you have to buy an iPhone at Walmart? Like, what's the advantage? Don't understand. And now it's saying they can't verify his address. Maybe he lives in, like, a trailer or something. Let's find out together. By the way, Hazel, have you... Have you heard the big breaking news today, Hazel? I've not. <clears throat> the big news today, <clears throat> excuse me, is that K, K, K Kremlin has joined the God level tier on Buy Me a hey, Coffee. This is Rob. Leave me a message and I'll call you back. What do you think about That's that? That's good news. K, I'm, I hope I'm saying the name right. It's like a capital K and then it says Kremlin. K Kremlin yeah. has joined the best of the best tier at $25 a month. It's amazing, and you know who that is. Who is that? You don't know who that is? I, I, I know the name and everything, yeah. Who but... was at our meetup? <gasps> That's right, of course. I, you know, I was like, I was like, how do I know that username? And then I remembered right. that he said he was going to. Yeah, yeah, you see. I was like, and I couldn't remember, because I, like, I had to remember so many usernames. I never remembered whose is whose exactly. Hey, this is Rob. Leave me a message. But uh, they signed up for the God level tier today. They did it. They did it. That's amazing. Which is well, they are news. God level anyway. They are God level automatically anyway, just for being at the meetup. Now they're like super God level. That's right. I, I remember people's real names more than I remember their usernames, you see. That's the thing. For sure. Yeah, like I really do. Like the amount of usernames I have to deal with. Hello. Hello. Hi, Robert. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team at Walmart. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Reason for the call is I was actually passed your information by my social media division. I understand you reached out to us with a problem. Yeah, we ended up resolving it directly with Verizon, though. Um, oh, so you've got so, everything resolved? Well, we didn't resolve the issue, but Verizon took care of us through another avenue. Okay, if you don't mind me asking, what was the exact issue with uh, making the purchase at Walmart? When we went to verify our account, it would send the, the code to the phone to say, you know, to do two-factor authentication. Sure. And then immediately and then immediately after that, it would say that it could not verify the address on the account. Huh. And it wouldn't give any other, any sort of options as to how to verify the address, as to what, what the issue was. It just said, go to your local Walmart store and they'll resolve it. And of course, the people at Walmart in person don't have any idea what this error is because it's related to something on the internet and, and the two the two databases talking to each other walmart and verizon um sure. and so uh you know six to nine hours of my wife being on the phone bouncing between walmart and verizon and going to walmart uh nothing resolved it and finally she found a verizon customer service agent that was gracious enough to just provide a promo promo code on on their end Okay. So we couldn't we couldn't access the Walmart gift card. We couldn't do any of that. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, therefore, we didn't buy the phones through you guys. Huh. Um, well, I'm very sorry you've had this experience. Um, the only time I've known that error come up is like, do you guys live in a trailer or like a mobile home of some kind? No, it's a completely normal address. That, huh. uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's my father-in-law. It's my wife's father. And they've lived there for ten. They've lived there for twenty years. Uh, a account. And do they do they, they have a Verizon account? account. Yeah. But, yeah, they've had this account since wireless came out. Yeah. Uh, and so it doesn't make any sense. They've had an account uh, since I, wireless know, I, came out. I'm sorry. Did you say they've had an account since wireless came out? Yeah, since Verizon was in existence, they've had a wireless account with Verizon right. at that same address. <laughs> right okay interesting well i'm sorry you've had this experience we would like to do something just by way of an apology and obviously for all the wasted time that you've had so um i've got your address here what i'm going to do is i'm going to mail you out a five dollar olive garden gift certificate just to apologize for what all the what address do you have uh for security i can't give it out but it's the one in uh, fairfax is that right that's not correct no Oh, right. That might be part of the problem. 
Oh well, I mean, fuck it. I can't be bothered to write another address down, so someone's getting an Olive Garden gift certificate anyway. <laughs> uh, Interesting. Okay, well, you have a great day anyway, and I hope you enjoy your new phone. Thank you. All right, bye-bye now. Bye. Bye. I don't know where to go with that, that prick. You ruined it. <laughs> Tell by the sound of his voice, you know it's going to be a no. Yeah, you just you knew he was just going to be a prick, right? Do you know what I mean? Like he wasn't going to fall for anything. <laughs> someone's get, someone's getting an Olive Garden gift certificate. Uh let's try and get a Comcast complaint. Comcast. Comcast. We haven't done Comcast for ages, right? Uh the, tr the see the trick is getting a number. That we can dial from with them. Is it going to let me? No. Oh, no. I think it's a bad number anyway. Apparently, Hazel, we have to make the K silent and just say Kremlin. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Kremlin. No, this number doesn't work. If you haven't joined the top tier of buy me a coffee at macronshow.com forward slash join, what the hell is wrong with you? Because there's about to be another God level show. Heck, what if you haven't even joined the bottom tier? Oh, God, those people. Ugh. I guess they get a free show next week, though. They do. Oh, yeah, we love them. We love them so much that we're giving them Thank a you. free show. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's right. The, the <laughs> forgot the show uh, you for the mother. <laughs> Teresa's you, uh, mother Teresa's. No, it's so tough after all. Oh uh, yes. Um, in case you missed that announcement, guys, we're going to be doing a free show in Discord. Not tomorrow. A week tomorrow. Okay. Not tomorrow, Tuesday. Next week, Tuesday. But Explain about the free part of Discord for people who think that you have to pay or they don't understand it. It is a common misconception that you have to pay money just to get into Discord. You don't have to be a member. You don't have to pay anything. If you just want to come for the community and to make friends or to ask us questions or to just hang out and see what we're talking about, Discord is completely free. You just go to macronshow.com forward slash Discord and join and the main room that we use is called Ronference, the Ronference room. It's like conference, but it's Ronference. Do you see what we did there? And uh, you can, you actually don't need to be on any of the membership tiers. There's no obligations at all. You just go to macronshow.com forward slash discord. You join and you can hang out for free. So do consider doing that if you're a fan of the show or you know anyone that's a fan of the show or you just want to come make friends and hang out and talk and whatever. We can, like, stay on your couch for a couple of months if you're cool with that. Yeah, like, if we could come to your house, maybe eat some food. Be great. Make a few long-distance phone calls, try on some of your clothes, that kind of thing. That would, that be, would all right. be great. Yeah, just let us know. That's how Hazel and I met. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. <laughs> That's right. It's Who's on my couch? Well, you're not more, on my couch, but... It's more, it's more, more accurate than you forward. think, actually. <laughs> 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 like, if you come and hang out in my Discord, there is a chance I may end up staying at your house for a really long time. You just, if you're, if you're lucky enough, you know. As the joke goes, which is no joke, one day you're listening to some guy do his prank call show, and the next day you're washing his underwear. <laughs> that is actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a very accurate uh, thing that happened. Yeah, yeah, it's what you get for listening to this shit on the internet. Has this ever happened to you? Has this ever happened to you? 
<laughs> like one minute you're just laughing at a prank call, and the next minute you're standing over the washing machine. Like, what the fuck? It can happen, guys. It can happen. Oh, Ready one minute. Computer? Oh, go, go, on. go on. No, go on. Go on. Well, it's getting that time and I even the complainers are not going to answer you. I know. I'm going to try like one more and then I'm maybe going to jump into a conference. Love has sent you two or three pups. Oh, has he? Where? Where? Where's he put them? Tell everyone who's not um, in a supporters level what you were getting the paparazzi to do with their Black Friday sales. Um not refer to them as black friday we had an african-american sale we had an albino That's sale right. we, had, right. we had albino friday on friday actually on the supporters show it was very good very very okay. funny very eight funny. eight hours of good yeah we didn't uh if, if for anybody that was on the ten dollar tier we did an eight hour show on friday just for the fun of it and it was a lot of laughs a lot of banter a lot of craziness all right let's mm -hmm. try some of these paparazzi people that log has found just to uh, uh, now, which web browser should I use for that? I think it's this one. I think it needs to be this one. You have to think of a reason that they're not allowed to say Cyber Monday. Mm, it's offensive to any androids, robots. There you go. Um, They don't like it. It's offensive to the other days of the week. It's offensive to people that aren't real. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to log into the Facebook. Here we go. Hold on a minute, guys. What's your password? And I'll check it for you. It is uh, I love Buckfest. <laughs> That's my password. The drink, not the person. Oh, <laughs> the person. oh yours was the person. Yeah. Uh, mine was. Why we don't have the same password? Yeah, exactly. Totally different. Oh. I'm gay. Stop it! Stop saying these things to me. I'm gay. Stop it. Stop that. I didn't even said that. That was AI. They used AI to make me say that. What is up with the teeth on that last shit, dare I say lady that you in the Dare I say lady. Cold. That's God damn that's cold. <laughs> Are you an actual woman? Not forehead. All right, let's. Has this ever happened to you? Let's see if I can even get it up here. Oh, there she is. Hold on. Ah, oh, oh, oh. oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to reposition the screen because I'm using an ultra wide monitor now, and it's look, it's gone off the screen. Hold on. Do 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 do. do. Stretch her out a bit. That's what she said. There she is. Closed on a hinge. Like Are you calling that. meth mouth first? Look at these pretty I'm colors. doing the first one first. Okay. I'm doing them in mm -hmm. order. Okay. So can you imagine a hand painted floor in Morocco? That's that's what we're going for here. With these earrings. Comes <laughs> to Betsy. What can we have in that? <laughs> I have two phones now, y'all. I'm sorry. And they're, I'm not transferred everything completely over there. Okay. The earrings. And then we have two different kinds of... Oh, me. Can really <laughs> stop? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea, lady. <laughs> it's all but it's so funny. I'm sure it's... I'm sure it is. Well, answer it and find out, you okay. silly bitch. Sorry about that. Oh, she's turned it off now. She's turned the ringer off. She's, uh, she's ruined the whole. She's ruined the whole day. My rhythm. Right. Yeah, your rhythm. Your rhythm of having two viewers and one of them's me. Yeah, brilliant. What a, what a fucking rhythm you've got going there, honey. You're really rocking it. You just lost fifty percent of your viewers by not picking up my spam call. And kind of. Genius move. Hmm, what color is that? What do you call your color? Is that the first one over there? Uh, what color is that? Magenta, this and then you have that magenta, eh? Hi, this is Harriet. These are super light, and they are so holiday festive. And this is number 100. 
Number one hundred for just five dollars. Hi, this is Harriet. Please leave me a message. Thank you. Have well, that's the end of the phone call. Yeah, I think you have to have just one viewer and be able to keep going. Hi, this is Harriet. Oh, I was Dale in her okay. chat already. How did he get in there so far? <laughs> Dale. <laughs> and it's half full. So give me a number. The one who guesses Let's the right number do... is going to get a free uh, piece of jewelry. Oh, God. Wow. So that's got a $5 guess, value. Uh, Dale. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's try this one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you want to hear some good paparazzi calls, though, do sign up at macronshow.com slash join and listen to last Friday's show. Sorry, I'm still trying to find us a they bit were more green. We did some really good paparazzi calls. It's a bit more green. It did sound like Back to the Future, Coco. That was my first thought. I know exactly what you mean. Seriously. Please leave your message for 9... <laughs> Let's see, I got one tangled up. Sorry, y'all. I may even have that sound effect from here. Hold today. on. What the what? What the what? Like this. Please leave your message for nine. That noise. That's a good ringtone. That's what I used to have. <laughs> Hi, Dale. Hi, Dale. Hi, Dale. Yeah, she's very observant in the comments. Please Wait, leave your message. Wait, deleting Dale's comments? A 100 number. She's oh, saying hi to Dale. That was weird. Well, there, there was comments, Dale's comments, and then just disappeared. Okay. Oh, my good goodness. Oh, my good goodness. What is going on? Please leave. All right. Me too, Coco. Looks like that is all the green I have right now. I have like two bags of it. Oh my good God. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have this number that is calling and I don't know why. Answer it, you stupid idiot, yeah, then, for fuck's sake. Like really, oh, what do I do? What can I possibly do to find out who's calling? You fucking idiot. Hello, Dominic. Come on now. Please leave your message for... Ah, yeah. Can you guys see me? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> There's some kind of crazy stuff going on. Crazy. Crazy. Phone crazy. calls are coming, and I go, I keep rejecting them, and they call back. I mean, what should I do next? Me. Oh, fucking idiots! Like, why wouldn't you just pick up and be like, "Fuck off"? Please leave your goodness sakes. Okay. <laughs> should I just randomly call her from her own number? <laughs> Just keep calling her. There's weird stuff going on. Yeah, your, weird your face is stuff. weird. Is this math weird mouth lady? Stop. Go. Please leave. Uh, uh, no, I'm not. On, I'm not to the last and one. Ringing, yet. And ringing. Yeah, we know. We can hear it. Stop. Like, you sound like the world's worst narrator. What? My phone what could is that ringing. Ever mean? Answer it. Okay. Perfect. All right. Back to it. I don't know why I just put my glasses on. Okay, Thank goodness it, it seems to have stopped right. now, so everything so should first be fine. We have. Please enter your password. Silver fish hook. Well, okay. We have these green. I'll change it by one digit. Stones. Okay, they See are the emerald greens. Either. We have this um, <laughs> silver chain. It is. I'm just going to add one digit to the, to the end of the number and then call. I love. The, I don't know. This kind of reminds me of there like the a, like a Celtic design. Okay. Celtic design, eh? Okay. I love it. I love it. Please leave your message. This phone is killing me today. And then Did you have that Celtic? green. Celtic design, green yeah. Oh, my God. Emerald Amazing, right, right there. I know. Number 56. Oh, for crying out loud. Please leave. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear my phone. Every It's like ringing. Constantly. No, we can't, know we can't hear on. sounds. And I just got some very inappropriate comments. <laughs> So. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Please leave your message. You can't hear it. This is something weird is going on. It's starting to really irritate me. It's starting to irritate me. Hi, Jenny. She has no Please idea. Leave. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> it's 
crazy. Crazy. Right, I, Just crazy. I don't even know how to. People are dialing my number to, and then my I phone's can't. It won't ringing. Let me block right now. Let me block it. No, so... of course it won't. Yeah, that would be impossible. Please leave your message for. Your car warning up, right? Okay, give me one minute. Oh, she's going to answer. Please leave your message for nine. Oh, is she going to come back and go, I blocked the number now. Now they can't call me. Yep, she's blocked it. Please leave. Do, 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 do. Whatever can we do about that? I have no idea how to get around that, to be honest with you. Um, let me think. There? Let me think. Wait okay, for so it. Sorry, see me now? Tell everyone you blocked it. Tell everyone it's blocked. Can everybody see me now? Yep. Okay. Hopefully you can see me. Let me know if you can see me. Say that you blocked the number. Fortunately, we can see you. Say that you okay. blocked the number. Perfect. Say it. Say it. Say it. Awesome. 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 Yeah. That was total nonsense. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. It's starting to get a little crazy. A little crazy. That's okay. We got this. Oh, you do, do this. you? You do, do you? Bring it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Silver fish hook with these emerald green rhinestones. We have the... You have, it's long down to the belly. <laughs> Every time. Please leave your I love oh, giving them that little bit of hope for a minute. Oh, she's blocking the number again. Hold on, let me change it while she's blocking the other number. Oh my God, I love this shit. Hold on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm going to call oh. her really quick this time. So as soon as she comes back, I'm going to call. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Watch this. No way. Please leave. <laughs> you told me to bring it, bitch. <laughs> I know I She's going to get her husband now. I know. I'll get my husband to answer. Please leave. Please leave. Dumb. It's absolutely dumb. <laughs> that made it worse. <laughs> Fantastic. Now it's just gonna go. Okay. Are we all good? No. Not number now. Uh, I thought it's where it's like on vibrate, but do we have that? It's whatever. Oh, sure. Okay, we're going to go oh, yeah. on. Okay. Please. Wait, shall I call from a husband's number? Silver fish hook. We have those green rhinestones. Here is your silver chain. Okay. You have the beautiful round green. Your round green. Um, Oh, my goodness. Your rhinestones, your emerald. Sorry, 36. Right? <laughs> you can still hear it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you can still hear it? <laughs> now, it's, now it's her husband's number too. Because I have it on vibrate. How can... Please leave your mess. You shouldn't be able to hear it. You can? Oh, for good sakes. Why not just try answering it, you fucking moron? <laughs> oh, my God. Please leave. It's pissing me off. I'm going to be really mad here in a minute. Mm. I need to really get a bit. <laughs> Please get mad. Is that a promise or a threat? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't threaten me with a good time, lady. Even Angela says answer it. Everyone in chat, tell her to answer it. You really said Links in the VIP it. if you guys want to get on this. Links in the VIP room of Discord, which you should all be in already. We 
The fuck I get bond from her chat? <laughs> <laughs> She's picking up and hanging up now, like that makes any difference. They're on it. They keep putting messages. They keep putting comments on it. Can you guys not see their comments? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I tell you what, I'm gonna hop off here real quick. I'll be right back on, but I'm gonna <laughs> Hop off the live and come back yeah. on and see if I can get rid of this. Mm -hmm. No comments here. Okay, good. Please, Please leave your <laughs> She'll sell the deal. Okay. Plug off. Find her number. Bell. Okay. Let me get off here. Let me deal with this. And um, I'll come right back on. Okay. Bug off. She told Dale to bug off. That's rude. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Oh. Hello? Hi there, ma'am. This is Ronathan calling from Extended Toilet Warranties Limited. Are you aware that the warranty on your toilet has expired? You could be liable for spillages, slip-ins, or splash-overs. We can give you full coverage for as little as the cost of a cup of coffee per hour. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> Let her speak. Let her speak. <laughs> Please leave your message for nine one. I love that. <laughs> it never gets old. It was about my toilet warranty. <laughs> I think she's coming back. <laughs> Hello? Hi there, ma'am. This is Ronathan calling from Extended Toilet Warranties Limited. Are you aware that the one <laughs> she hung up again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I keep I keep changing the number by one digit each time though, so she can't. Oh, so she's freaking out. Please leave toilet. your message for nine. Oh fuck! I think she's. Oh no, she's put do not disturb on. So now I have to call twice, and then it'll go through. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> That'll piss her off. Please leave. Oh, she's saying the fuck you button now. Yeah. Why doesn't she care about a toilet? She's. Why would you want to be liable for slip-ins and splashovers? Okay, can you seriously Hi please there, stop? My I'm name trying is to Ronathan. run a business right now. I don't have time yes, for this but shit. Ma'am, you have can to. Can you please stop? Ma and I'm not fucking around. Ma'am, ma'am, your family is not. <laughs> <laughs> try, oh try my God. a business, okay? <laughs> so am I. I'm trying to run Extended Toilet Warranties Limited. Please leave your mess. <laughs> 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 Person whoa, to another. She should respect. Also, she should really imagine if a guest came to her house and suffered an accidental slip in or spillover. What would she do then? She would have no coverage. It's disrespectful to any guests at her house, you know. Farkling Bling is her name. Farkling Toilet Bling. Please leave your message. All right, fuck her. Fuck her. Um, should we do the... Where's the one with meth mouth? Let me see. Which one was she? Uh, uh, did we do this one? The vet, vet's bling blog or whatever it fucking says. Yvette's bling box. Oh, she's live too. Come on, people. I have to get what's fuck me. One, but I just ordered one today. But that's this lady's balder than I am. She, <laughs> she looks like Will Smith's wife. Get my wife's name out your damn mouth. <laughs> Keep my motherfucking wife's name out your motherfucking mouth. Fucking Will Smith. Isn't what? that the Republican debate? He says, "Keep my wife's name off you, out of your voice" or something like that. Fucking Will Smith. What a cook. He's like the biggest cook in the world at this point, right? Oh, do you not think? Uh. 
had totally fucked up her lives. Yep. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Now we're going to wait for it to realize it froze. Yep, come back. Oh, she hasn't even noticed. Oh my god, I've got a great joke for when she picks up. Oh yeah, here you go, link for the VIP. I just want to call her Jada Trinket Smith. <laughs> That's so fucking terrible. <laughs> Get it? Jada Trinket? Your call no, has been no. forwarded to voicemail. Alright, I'll get my coat. <laughs> see? See, you know it's good comedy. It took you a minute to think about it. Jada, Jada Trinket Smith. Hold on. We need, we need, uh, we need, uh, we need, uh, hold on. I do not know what's going on. Jada Trinket Smith. Deal with it, guys. It's real comedy happening. It's happening live. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am. Dominique ain't never bought nothing from me, so let's just. Can someone in chat write? Will Smith wants to know when you're coming home. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> He's in VIP. Oh, she blocked Dale. He's on TV crying about you again. You better come home. Stop. Stop this jewelry thing. Jewelry. I just got blocked. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. <laughs> Did you know that for $5 you can get a piece of paparazzi jewelry and a night with the real Jada Pinkett Smith? So I've heard. Get a life. Get a life. Fuck me, she looks like... She's gonna send you to, she's gonna send you to the block party. She looks like Mr. Burns from the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, has been forwarded to voicemail. The person is What did she say? The block party. No, she's giving off about me because I says I wanted to return a bracelet I bought last week. I turned my skin away. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. She looks like she's fucking losing it already. Uh -oh. I don't know what's going on. Is this the block party lady? Oh my god, she's well, freaking out. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. We may have to leave her alone. She looks like she's about to have a fucking breakdown here. This one. You guys, I might have to go back out and <laughs> <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to I don't get it. But anyways, these gorgeous earrings came in today. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded. These gorgeous earrings came in today. Go back and come back in. If it, if it... <laughs> Is good. Your call has been forwarded to <sighs> Alright, she's boring. I'm gonna do one more before I get out of here. Which... Again, I'm gonna try. Oh, it's not like some live entertainment, is it? It's got look, she got me playing with matches now. Got me playing with matches. This is number fifteen. These are beautiful. I'm Absolutely gonna leave her alone gorgeous. because she they genuinely looks like I don't wanna make her even bolder with the stress, you know what I mean? Like I think we should leave her alone. Uh Oh, that oh, makeup. look at this chick's makeup. Oh, yes. Do you remember her? Oh, have we called this one before? Wait, wait. Uh, let's see. This one with the... F <laughs> I think I, she looks familiar, to be fair. Oh, look at that makeup. Hazel, are you jelly of her makeup? Karma, are you jelly of that makeup? Look at that. Oh, yeah. She's the one with the dog cage, remember? Oh, oh is that her? She was pretty. 
That's her. Please leave your message for How do you seven, think she's pretty? seven zero. How do you think she's pretty? Like, I don't even know where you're looking. Look at the live stream. Look at that, huh? This is being live streamed. Yeah, yep. we're live on the internet. Did you what? not know? Yeah, it's a show. Oh, I'll oh, fill you in shit. later. Please leave your message. Oh, she, this one's not going to fucking play because we fucked her up the other night. To be fair, she was being really horrible to her dog on the live stream there. And that's... You don't do that when I'm around. That can that can lead to a lot of problems. Please leave your message for... seven. That can seriously decrease your life expectancy. But uh, allegedly, in Minecraft anyway. I'm talking about... 87 viewers. Jesus, fair play to her. Might be more than I've got right now. Who knows? Uh, let's <laughs> see here. Uh, this me What kind of name is that? Oh, she's a foreigner. Where's she from? I can't tell. Well, Spanish? I don't know. Don't know what language that is. She's got little Hello Kitty Christmas plushes. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... That sounds Spanish to my ignorant ears, but... Uh, <laughs> but I could be wrong. My ignorant British ears. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine zero. Oh, she's not playing. She's not interested. Should we call in this talk radio show? If it's about sports, we can have Scobie call in. Oh, it's paranormal. Oh, is it? Oh, fuck. It's a paranormal. Oh, I've done one of these for a while. Is a chocolate chip pancakes. Oh. Oh, chocolate chip I pancakes. Really thought about that. Everybody had. It's like a one of those pregnancy oh, fuck this cravings. Like Basically, thank pancake. you for calling Maintenance Solutions. There's no one available at the moment to take uh, this. Yeah, chocolate chip pancakes. Makes sense. Honest to God. Now, if we went to Eaton Park, I don't know if you have any out there, Abby, but um, Eaton Park had that 12 to 3 midnight buffet boy. Thank you for calling Maintenance Solutions. No, no, I don't think they're going to talk. All right, that's enough of that shit. I'm real tired of these people. Awful, awful people. Actually, you know what? Usually I'd be saying it's time for Sleepy Sleeps for Ron, but it's so hard to get used to ending the Monday show and it's not even 9 p.m. here. (laughs) It's like like 5 to 9. Like, it's so weird, because my usual routine at home every Monday is, like, finish the show, upload the show, go straight to sleep. Or get in bed and watch some YouTube. And I'm like, I finish the show, and it's, like, 9 p.m. I'm going to go watch some Netflix or something. It's that means you can go for another few hours then, so normally you finish it at 2 a.m., so... I could if, if I, I wanted, it. but I owe it to the subscribers that subscribe and buy me a coffee to save my energy for the supporters' shows, Buckfast. Do you see how that works? Cut out those calls, those first two calls. Oh yeah. Um. Let's say good night to the fat people. Two four sexy at all traffic. Thank all you for the. You are currently the only person. No, let's, let's try the other one. Maybe they've gone back in the other one. <laughs> I can't believe that they hate the Thank you for team. calling our telephone. If you have a moderate, there are currently 33 other Hello. participants in the conference. Please, you are now unmuted. Your contact info. Hi, everyone. We need number and um, Mitch. Okay, hello? Hi, how are you doing? This is Mitch. Yeah, this is Mitch. Okay. Okay, um, let's see. Eric's number is... Uh, hold on um, a second. Um, um, cause, sorry. Would you, I, I know this is a bit embarrassing. Would you mind talking about how fat you are a little bit more? It's just I'm jerking off and it really helps. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I wanted them to think their friend said that. <laughs> oh, God, what have you found there? What is go- Hold on, what is going in there, Log? 
Oh, what? just another blink person. Uh, let's have a quick look. Last one, though. Last one, because she looks fucking weird. I was talking about invoicing. People fuck. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Her religious t-shirt isn't as good as mine, though. They got me fresh. <laughs> My Jesus t-shirt is better than hers. Number 33 for gold. Gold bracelet. She looks easily she looks upset. Easily upset. She has a lot made about you. Your I'm call has been forwarded to an auto. Oh no. Uh. Your call has been forwarded. Oh god, we have to get off the screen. What an awful woman. Your call has been forwarded to an. No. no. Get to fuck. Get to fuck, lady. All right, time to get out of here. So uh, this week we're going to be doing. Uh, supporters shows, I believe, Wednesday and Friday, although, depending on my plans, things might move around a little bit, a little bit. I um, thought Wednesday is a show, Friday is a show, and then either Tuesday or th there's going to be a God show, too. Mm -hmm. I mostly meant, I forgot to mention that I uh, may have dinner plans on Wednesday, so I don't know if I'm going to do an early show or a late show on Wednesday. I just don't know. Uh, I just don't know. I forgot to mention it earlier. But um, there will be two. There will be two supporters shows, and then uh, there will be a God level show. Probably going to do that Thursday. Did we say? Probably. You, you hadn't decided. I haven't decided, but either Thursday or possibly at the weekend will be a God level show. Those are the craziest shows. You have to be on the twenty-five dollar tier to catch the God level shows, but those are the ones where we basically stay up all night, going completely nuts and. Uh, doing crazy illegal things in Minecraft, them. in Minecraft, and we don't record them. Top secret things. That's where we cause real carnage. Yeah. And then next Tuesday? Next Tuesday is a free support. Can you really call it a supporter show when you don't have to be a supporter to listen? It's listener. A, listener. It's, it's a listener appreciation show. That's what it is. Um, it'll be taking place in Discord only, but it'll be completely free to access with no obligations. You just go uh, to macronshow.com. And get in Discord anyway if you're get not. Get in anywhere. anyway. Yeah, what the hell's your problem? Macronshow.com. And isn't there a cameo Discord. sale for a few more hours? Yes, there is a Cyber Monday cameo sale going on right now. I think it's still going on. Let me check. Yeah, what are you doing, Discord? Cameo.com forward slash Macronshow. Yep, it says 20% off for Cyber Monday. It's automatically applied. So, nice. so three more hours or so. Yeah, I don't know. It, I don't know if it actually expires at like midnight or if it. Sometimes they extend it. I don't know, but well, just to be safe, the best thing to do, yeah, is get straight to cameo.com forward slash Macron Show and book that cameo in and lock it in. And uh, yeah, there you go. All right, I'm getting the fucking fucks out of here. Thank you all for being here, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Thanks to everyone that left a tip. Thanks to everybody that joined recently. MacronShow.com slash join. I will see you all, well, I'll see you all on Wednesday, I assume, because you're all going to go sign up and get in Discord and stuff. But uh, if, if you only watch on YouTube, then whatever, whatever. I don't care anymore. I'll see you next Monday. What did we all learn and today? And Tuesday. And Tuesday. No, 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 yeah, next next Monday and Tuesday. What did we all learn today? Chumley, what did you learn today? Bookfast, what did you learn today? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't, that's two people. Your ass. Your ass. Um, I learned that I sound like a Kardashian. You do. There we go. You do sound there like a Kardashian. Go. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. <laughs> um, I learned the true meaning of uh, yes, Vember. Okay. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Goodbye. It's over. Goodbye. Bye, Log. Bye. 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 Oh, yeah, and I finally Bye. updated the credits today, so you should all see your names if you're a supporter. Goodbye. Yay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yay. Oh, God, thank God it's over. Ugh. Hi, what's it's going really on? Over. Like, <laughs> I didn't realize. All right, you're done. Yeah, wave I'm gay. You know, wave a lot harder than that. Ronnie, what are you going to be thinking about this week? Your ass, your ass, your ass. Ronnie, your ass. my name is Ron and I'm gay. Ah! Oh. Said I was sexy hot, and then, then you said, "Ooh, damn, she's the wrong hole." <laughs> uh, dude, I just I hit the wrong hole. I'm gay. Hi, 
what's going on? Like, I... My name is Ron Blackman, and I have a micro-penis. One, four, A, B, J. Yes, please. Look it, look it, look it. Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Ron calling from our scene on TV. How you do, bro? That's all the lyrics we need. Fuck off, Kevin. <laughs>